And just like that, we are back with another episode of the Green Table Podcast. And while you're watching this Green Table Podcast, I'm watching the Green Table Podcast. See see what I mean? <laughs> it ain't no podcast out here doing it like that. While you're watching the podcast, I'm watching the podcast. You know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> For sure. For yep. sure. So, so you guys go ahead and roll you one up. Go ahead and pack your bowls, get your, your torches and your dab rigs and motherships and all of that good stuff. Your Bob Marley's, if that's what you do, you grab everything you need because we about to get active. We'll be right back. Yo. Uh, what up with you, fam? Nah, bro, you got to get up. Today is the day. I'm tired of waiting. We said we was going to get this za going. We about to hit up Mirror Crop. We're going to learn everything we need to tonight from the green table. So wake your ass up. Man, you dead serious about this shit. I'm dead ass, bro. Come on, let's go. All right, all right, I'm up. I'm tapping in. I bet. Once you take that first step, ain't no turning back. Dep Lord, Veg God, welcome to the green table. Yeah. It's back out here, it's back out here, it's back out here. You know you ain't pay for this. I bought some down Lamborghini doors, it's automatic. It's automatic. Won't need the crib without a couple hundreds, that's a habit. Until I find a way to flip the money, I'm gon' stash it. If Frosty find a better hustle, swear that I'm gon' pass it. You sit down at the table, bring your own, cause I ain't passing. The shorty, yeah, bustin' through the bag, the shit is gassy. I'm getting well, staying well, living out my passion. The green table pull you up, but see, we getting that. What you want? Gas, green, perp, turp, frost, work, tripe, burnt, nose, diesel, candy, skunk, earth, small, valve, full of heat, hologram, surf, spin a buck, 20, mic, bundle, lit up with a shirt, this the green table, bitch, you know hands full of dirt, racks full of clones, some gon' get gone, some staying home, son on the phone, asking papa to come home, I'll be right back when I get rid of this last zone, I'll be trapping like I ain't the nigga half. I love the action, can't get this far without the passion That's why they lacking on them racks and I'm relaxing on my back Adding packs, decimals and commas not accessible to drama I bust them down, Lamborghini does it's automatic Won't need a crib without a couple hundreds, that's a habit Until I find a way to flip the money, I'm gon' stash it If Frosty find a better hustle, swear that I'm gon' pass it You sit down at the table, bring your own cause I ain't passing The shorty, yeah, busting through the bag, the shit is gassy I'm getting well, staying well, and I'm a passion oh The green table pull you up And see we getting active No tags. No tags. I spend the block as I'm patient. Come back in the year and that check that you wrote to get cash. You wanna smoke with the demon? Well, now you done seen it. I hope that you ready to clash. Yeah. Huh, graduated from the streets at the top of my class You run the world and let's get it I told you I'd live it, all you had to do was just ask I know before I was chilling, just trying to get millions Now all of that shit in the past I take it up to the ceiling, however you willing Just hope that you ready for class Run down, not do this shit with no mask If they won't call it a race, we gon' lap them Cry like a baby when you get back at them They here for the now, but they ain't never gon' last Why? Slow through my life like a turtle But you get too close and I'm ready to snap Rules to the game and they all universal If you break a rule, then you never come back Huh, living my 
my life, I'm just chillin' Big plate, I'm gon' eat, they gon' eat out the trash huh? Once they find out you a clown, gotta leave out of town and you never come back I sit around when they counters, I'm lovin' the sound that it make when they get to a stack And I show nothing but love, but if you a hater, then fuck ya, I know I'm so mad Cause they see me on the come up, I'm just gettin' started, I didn't even get in my bag Man, I won't think with you niggas, but y'all steady hatin', don't talk about poppin' no tag I spend the block cause I'm patient, come back in the year and that check that you wrote to get cash You wanna smoke with the demon, well now you done seen it, I hope that you ready to clash Honey K play, honey bun K You don't want smoke with this right here Know what you say, swing by your way Get caught in my headlights like dear Watch what you say, don't become prey And then that niggas is so damn weird I'm from the bay, he from upstate Told you before that this all yeah Flops, I'm sick, no suit Big business, no suit Sedan truck, no coupe Long leg room, big shoes Mirror crop, my mood All my ops is food All my ops was fools Hard cold like ice cubes Always woke, no snooze All this smoke, no booze All good days, no blue Except for what I got in pocket, cause you know I'm gon' get it Leave me alone with your home, fuses get blown, cause I'm gonna grow in it I stay with them plans, you stay with them zans, so you might be gone in four minutes Don't blame me for all of your goals unachieved, you just a whole nigga Why they so mad? Cause they see me on the come up, I'm just getting started, I didn't even get in my bag Man, I won't think with you niggas, but y'all steady hating, don't talk about popping no tag I spend the block cause I'm patient, come back in the year, and that check that you wrote to get cash You wanna smoke with the demon, well now you done seen it, I hope that you ready so mad. Cause they see me on the come up, I'm just getting started, I didn't even get in my bag Man, I won't think with you niggas, but y'all steady hating, don't talk about popping no tag I spend the block cause I'm patient, come back in the year, and that check that you wrote to get cash You wanna smoke with the demon, well now you done seen it, I hope that you ready to clash Ooh, yeah. And we back. Yeah, I'm feeling better now, man. After you get that music up in there, you'll be like, all right. Oh, yeah, right, you're, right, you're, you're officially ready to start the yeah. show at that point. Man, that green table cutter. Uh, what's that? That's the runts? White runts? Yeah. No, no. The white runts is another one. That's that's the one from that that one from that that far? We're going to have to run that back. <laughs> yeah. We're going to have to run, run that back. Some of this shit, back. sometimes we just got to stop. And rewind, yep, and just 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 start from there. And it's so dope having somebody like you that you could just rewind when you're ready. Yeah, right, I let me go it. back. You got that? Yeah. Yep. I actually, got it <laughs> rooted right now. <laughs> right now, yeah. Get it out to you right now. Yeah, man. I was really hoping that Blizzard was a male. Though I'm not gonna lie. Man. I'm glad it's a female for you. It's all good. But I was really, I really wanted one, man. Now I got it. It looked like a big ass male at first. Somebody else said that too. Look like a straight big ass male. I'm like, that's how I also know it's a male because usually the males attempt to get a little bit taller most times so they could drop the pollen down on the females. So you see a tall one, it's usually like chances are that might be a male. No, yeah, it turned out to be a big ass female. And then the east side crossing on lawful turned out to be a big ass female. Damn, huge, big, huge. <laughs> I gotta, I cut the top again mama. because the, they're hitting the lights. They're Big sitting mama, on the boy. lights. Like, <laughs> that should be so dope. Like when I go out to the greenhouse and I see stars, the stars rose. I just be looking like, I'm not about to go in there. Fuck with y'all. Cause I fucking around and get smacked upside the head with hella fucking. Oh, they're yeah. just chunky, man. Yeah. And then I just look up at one of them and this bitch is past the greenhouse. Well, just like <laughs> way up there. And I'm like, what is your tall ass doing up there? Chilling. I'm like, Damn. And here's the crazy part. They'll be setting on flowers, but either my eyes is playing tricks on me or something. But I'll come back and be like, that bud was not on the light last time I looked. Why yeah. you look like you're still going? Yeah. It's but crazy. buds are setting on just fine. What's wrong about games, week five? Or somewhere beginning, around that. Like the beginning of week five? Yeah, yeah. Day, what's that? What is that? 28? Week, day 28? I'm day, probably at like five. day 32. That's why I like saying days better than weeks. Yeah. Cause I yeah. say I'm on week one, and it's like okay, that's like what day one, like you know where you know what I mean. I yep. like days better. They under that GML light. Yeah, man. I, GML I got some dial, good lights, I had to man. Dial it back a little bit. I'm learning more and more about the lights and how the spectrums work and how the, his technology at first. Because I'll be honest, when it starts talking about nanometers and diodes, I get lost. Like, is the light is the light working? Is it good? <laughs> but now I'm starting to understand that. They make all the difference in the world. They that do. spectrum makes all the difference in the world that you could buy a light. Actually, I don't know if you guys heard his last um, his last show from yesterday, but you could buy a light and they could have so many 730 nanometers reds or not seven. I don't know. Don't give me don't get me started. But anyway, 
fuck with somebody that knows about Spectrum when they come into buying lights. Mm -hmm. Spectrum makes all the difference, man. If you guys missed that show, um, the link is in the bottom in the description for his um, his channel. Check that show out last night. It was actually very good and informative, and I really liked mm -hmm. it, that one. So that was great. Yeah. Um, uh, shout out to everybody in the chat, time. too. Thank you all for being here like usual. I appreciate you all. First time viewers, what's up? Um, yeah, thank you, everybody. You know, there's something else I look uh when I say spectrum makes a difference, it makes a huge difference. Like you can have one strain under one light going at the same time as that same strain under another light. And they look completely different. Totally different. They look totally different. Cause I have, I have brisker under the medic grows and they look completely different than the briskers that's under GML's light. They look completely different, completely different. It's a trip, yeah. man. It's a trip. And it, 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 it sucks, though. I'm not going to lie, because we're forced to get scientific now. We ain't got no choice. You have no we choice because you're going to see it. A long time ago. Yeah. But before, it wasn't that much science. The biggest science we had was metal mm -hmm. halide veg, um, HPS flower. And yeah. that was just simple. Like We didn't give a that fuck about the light. The light was orange. Okay, we know that. Blah, blah, whatever. Now with LEDs, it's like, oh, this has this much spectrum and this blue spectrum and this, what about the oranges and the yellows? And this, it's like, oh my God. Mm -hmm. Like, if somebody just point me in the direction of the yeah. best fucking LED out there? You know what I mean? I, I think the best comes down to your application. The best, the best hands down is going to be a bar style. That's just my Well, that's, that's off rip, bar style. Right? Bar style, yeah. That's off um, rip, just for the spread. Yeah. Now, after the spread, then you start talking about things that I'm not willing to go into right now, but it's all the spectrums. It's all spectrum. It's all the spectrums and different this and blues and this and that does that. And it's a lot. optics. It's a lot. And yeah, it starts coming down to a whole bunch of different stuff. So it really just comes down to your application and who you follow that knows the most about that light. Like some people just get a light because they seen somebody else with that light. Why don't you go back to the person who he got that light from and see if they got any talks, if they have anything about those lights, then you can actually study them to see if it's the light that you want. And that's what I liked about your last night's episode, because he was saying how like this one company, a big company uses so many reds to be efficient, right? Because they're the most efficient, but those mm -hmm. reds, that peak is not the right red that you're looking for. You want Which the red a little bit less. I think it was 630 you want. Not the seven. I don't know. Don't I don't want to say it because I'm gonna they'll say it in lie on accident. You know what I mean? <laughs> but yeah, it was just it, it was informative. So I really liked it though. Yeah, that's dope. drop a like for the TGT podcast, man. Bring yes. y'all the please bring y'all the you. flavors, man. Yeah, green goblin. It's, what's good? It's been semi harvest week for the east coast. Um, a, a lot of people been done. They ain't had no choice. Like the, the rains and everything. But if you ain't got a greenhouse at this point, you're probably done. Unless you just got a strain that's built for tough. And they, did y'all even have a break? It. From the rain? Yeah. It rained for like two or three days and then it stopped for like two days and then it rained again for like two or three days. But it's sporadic rains. It isn't like like just heavy rain all day. That ain't yeah, coming. That's scary, yet. man. That's scary. Yeah, yeah that's coming. That's scary, man. Powdery that's, mildew that's, all over everything. Yeah. I, I and, seen a powder mildew cover plant on my CBD stuff, and it was the last one I introduced. It was a, um, a chocolate orange. And I got it because the smell of it was just so unique, and I was like, I got to try that. I got to add that in there. But now I'm about to just throw that plant out because it's covered in PM. Yeah. None of my other plants have it. I'm talking about shorty air. Uh, lemon cherry gelato, bankroll, all these fucking strains. None of them got PM, but that bitch got it all. And I'm like, yep, you gotta go. And the issue you is, go. you you also gotta watch the people around you because like they're they're vegetables, they're uh they're they're bushes, they're shrubs, loaded with powdery mildew as oh, yeah. as they do. It's just what they do. And some people don't care about it. And it takes one gust of wind, one nice gust of wind, and you sue. That's nature for you. Yeah, that's why these other greenhouses, they, they make sure that they got filters on fans and everything coming in and out of that. Yeah. because That's just why be, on this new place, I'm about to build this shit out. Build it right. I'm not going to go crazy with buying shit. I'm just going to think about everything first. Like yes. that air in and air out. Yeah. That's, that's definitely happening on this one. 
you know what? That's another thing I've been noticing since I switched to intake and outtake. The plants just like life better. They, the and you could just leave CO two alone now. You don't yeah, even nah, need to buy tanks. Not, you don't need to add not it even in a there. Thought. You can, you can if you want to, but you don't need to now. And I'm in bring that, that make their own. Yeah. I wonder. Um, I wonder how it's going to work though when you're bringing in like that hot air or that cold air during the winter time. It's like, just all this, about how much you use. I I know I br- I shut the. So just don't bring in too on. much. Yeah. And I, that's what I got to get. I'm gonna have to get my times down. Like, what am I bringing in? Am I am I just transferring air? Like I turn them on at the same time to let that gust go through and out. You and can then stagger it. Them. You can or stagger do I bring it so in for a second, then let it out. Then that's bring up to it you. In. You see what I'm saying? Some, I don't know what's right. Some people use some people will use a bigger and smaller fan. So mm-hmm. either you'll have a bigger fan bringing cool air in and a smaller one taking it out. So it'll be mainly the the intake mainly air. the outside air. Yeah, exactly. Okay. But, it, but it is getting funneled out little by little. That or makes they'll sense. do it the other way where you pull more air out and or you could just uh dial the fans because like the AC Infinities, they have the fan speed controllers on them. That's so all you can do is turn turn one up higher than the other one or turn one up higher than the other one. And either you'll be pulling out more air. Or you'll be pushing in more air. Depends on what you need. Okay. But even with just one on, it'll either be a positive or negative pressure, and you only care about that because of smell. Mm-hmm. But yeah. if you're a home grower and you smoke, nothing ever smells worse than that. What? You What'd smoking? You yeah. If you're a home grower, the like the last thing on your mind is the smell of this cannabis. Like. You're it smoking depends. It depends where you in live. your house up all day. Yeah, yeah. It depends where you live, though. Because the smell is a bit different as a grower. Like, as it's a grower, a, I can walk difference. past and you can notice know, the smell. Yeah. You know when someone's smoking and you're smelling some fresh herb. If and I know grower. people, I know people, like, really know people that walk down the street <laughs> just trying to and spot shit out it. to hit licks. Like they, yep. Yeah, so you got to, they, they got a nose on them. Yeah, and that's they another thing difference. about uh, window <laughs> units. I know some people are forced to use window units, but it is pushing the smell right outside. Yeah, you got a carbon filter, man. You got to make sure your carbon filter is right. Yep. Um, but probably using the best you can. Probably, probably just using the best stuff though, as far as carbon filters, man. Get the right shit. AC Infinity is crushing it. I'm not gonna lie. That's all yeah, I'm fucking yeah. with. Hell For the yeah. intake, I'm gonna use probably uh, the mushroom, the mushroom filter. Cause it's easy to clean and manage mm-hmm. and uh for the intake but it's still going to be attached to an ac infinity yeah yeah probably like a six inch coming in Something. i basically i, I basically built i basically built a filter oh which i use that I just attached the ac infinity to it like i made like a little frame and on the frame i was able to i was thinking that same thing i, yes. I just built, I was thinking I just built my own <laughs> because you could get the highest grade filter that you possibly can and not have to think twice about it get like the HEPA a, filter there's like yeah, the rectangle that's exactly what i have yep. yeah that's exactly what i have because you could just cut it down the size or do whatever you want to do and mm-hmm. make it the perfect size to where the the uh vent hooks right up to it and anything you pull in through there dead and you could go a step further and put one on the actual intake that's actually coming in Yep. So you yep. can double layer it to where it has to pass two HEPA filters before it actually hits your room. You'll never so put have one. You mean like put one on the outside? One on each end. Yeah. Put one put where one on it's pulling inside. from and put yeah. one on the inside where it's going in. Yeah. 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 So that's a that's a nice, easy way to do it. Cheap yeah, way, yeah. too. Yeah. That's what I plan on doing, too. Making yep, that shit right. That's the same right. thing I did. Making that shit right. I was, content- I was contemplating just doing living soil in there, too. Man. I, it was one of the best switches I ever did, oh, and yeah. I'm never going back to anything. I don't care if I get the opportunity to set up a new spot tomorrow. It's getting beds because the one time setup, I never have to bring dirt in or out again. Um, nutrients is non existent. I can make it myself if it's that serious and I want to go crazy feeding and making teas and all. I could do all of that myself for free. I could be lazy and order it from Build the Soil, but if I wanted to, I could just make it for free. Like mm-hmm. whether it's worm castings, whether it's uh compost tea, no matter what it is, I can make it all by myself. And the terps are well worth the switch. That's like now I can smell the room when I go in it. Like you go in the room now when they in flower, you know they're in flower. I heard someone say that it was cap 
when they said that the living soil produced better terps, they said it's all on the genetics. What you got to say about that? Because I know you ran both. I think the genetics get its best expression in no-till. So even the terps you would get in cocoa from a strain are going to be less than a that's if you ran that same strain in no-till. Because at the end, they tell you give sugars to, to feed the microbes. You ain't got no microbes. So you ain't feeding nothing. There's nothing that, that can help you enhance flavors. In my case, there is. Yeah. So, and, 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 and it's a huge difference. You guys know I wouldn't say it's a difference if it was not a difference. It, it It's a noticeable difference. Yeah, I think that would be dope, though. Brand new space, 12 by 20, put um, 16 feet, 16 feet beds. Two, and the most four, you'll six, have to do is, is throw two, some four, powders eight. over the top. That's it. Like, let's say, let's say you want to feed Gaia Green or anything. You just go ahead and put those right over the top. But if you take the Beast Coast method, then chop and drop all day. Just chop, keep making chop layers. And drop it. Because you'll chop, chop and drop it. Facts. You'll chop and <laughs> drop. You'll hay it over. The hay will eventually disappear. You cover crop again. You let it grow in again. You hay it over again. And now you're just stagnating layers of just crazy amounts just of nutrients. Good. And that's and that's where the feeder roots are. That's that's where they are. The, the big roots go down low, but a lot of those feeder roots stay in the top couple of inches. Now imagine when your top couple of inches. I got video I'm gonna put up later. Where okay, the top nothing but is, fucking it's solid black. It is solid black mass, and you got to keep digging for a while before you hit the point where you're like, okay, there's the soil. You can see the difference. And it'll be dope also because I'm thinking I'm still thinking bugs because in my area bugs are prevalent. Once I introduce the other bugs in there. They're not going nowhere. 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 Whatever I and, put in there, they're going to kill them bugs and got, immediately. And you got to think it does attract some of the other bugs because it is somewhere for them to live. Mm -hmm. But when they get there, it's not like they could just move in with no problem. Like It's going to be issues. You're, you're moving into a very hostile environment. So long before you ever hit my plants, I got like six walls of barriers that you're going to have to go through long before you ever hit that. Before I would even bring plants in there, I would already start their stuff up. I would have that whole system going already. All the already. beneficial nematodes, the fucking Everything. green lace I'm about to reintroduce all of that. All yep. that shit. Just be up in there. Just chill. It's on so the way fun. now. So I just ordered a bunch of soil life, basically. A bunch of other things that I know are probably in my soil. But let's make sure by introducing them. Yeah. They're going to be mad. They're going to be like, what you bring this nigga over here for? <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 he cool? He cool? He yeah. wild? All right. All right. <laughs> It's just like wildlife when you see them out on the savannah. Like you'll see the zebra, you'll see the the hippos, you'll see the rhinos, you'll you'll see everything eating together because we cool. We all eat the same thing. Like we we all right, and we all got the same op. Like <laughs> all yep. of us got the same exact enemy. We know what to look out for, so they don't they don't exactly bother each other. Yeah, that's gonna be interesting if I actually do it. Do I cut the main stem stalk out the soil? Yeah, down to like the. I harvest the same way I would in a pot. You just cut it as low as you can. You cut the, just leave you cut the whole plant and then you just leave the rest. And eventually you just go and you wiggle that stem a little bit and you'll notice that it's just not attached to anything. Then you just lay it down. Yeah. I have noticed in the beds, though, that um, that method of just soaking the beds like every other week for me mm -hmm. is helping. It helps like with, the, with, a the lot. with the yellow one and all that. It just helps because all the amendments that still at the top, they never got a chance to really work into the to soil. Work its way through. So now I could just get them all in there. And they, I'm still just feeding straight water. I haven't done anything. It's just been You'll water. You'll be and surprised. I'm round two. Yeah, yeah I'm, in all, I'm in all round two with straight water. Shit is crazy, though. The craziest thing about them greenhouses out there is like two greenhouses is mine. And it's like i'm loving what i'm loving what i'm seeing from pie bomb that shit is that shit looking crazy at first i was like i don't know about this because it was in that revenge state mm -hmm. man it shook out of that shit and it's going crazy gone crazy flame boy ain't going crazy <laughs> yo that name is so good flame boy is dope but that shit is yo, like all the so finos fire. look good i it's can't like, it's wait to funny. see you got it's like one side in the same bed you got one side over here that's like two weeks behind it looks like it's been well basically it's all green phenos on one side and this side is green and purple like purple mostly though it's hella funny man this shit is dope to you see. love seeing that that's it's why dope. i don't like monocropping like it 
I, nah, I like seeing man, that it's... variation. I want to see some green, some yellow, some purple, some pink, some oranges. Like I want, I want to see them fade a whole bunch of different colors. I cannot wait to see the artwork for Flame Boyan. I'm gonna call it now. I might not release it. Oh, yeah, can you imagine that artwork? You know why I'm not gonna release it? <laughs> it's it's um it's worth the hunt. Okay, like it's worth me hunting outside and doing another run of hunting inside. It's like. It's, it's some shit I wanted to because I don't have that many seeds. I just want to yeah. like get something great out of that. Gigi's very true. Uh, remember, yeah. I just sent you that room earlier this week of that of that guy on the, in the no till beds on the on the moving tables. Yeah, he had the rolling tables with the with the no till beds on them. Yep, because that's if the, you that's the be way. More water, man. If you want to be more water efficient, if you want to be more energy efficient, if you want to be more nutrient efficient, if you want to have less people working in there because no one has the wash pots. No one has the transplant. You can have one person do the whole thing when it comes to no-till beds. You would normally need a bunch of different people to get this done. Or do it yourself large scale, but you, you'll be one person in there forever transplanting 800 clones into pots and filling the pots. Yeah, it's a lot of work. It's a lot of stuff. Compared to just, just going skipping. in there, move a just little dirt, move boom, move a little dirt, boom. <laughs> You're just going straight down the line. Okay, it's hard so to when make you, a mess. you water them all in, right? When I first, when you first transplant, in. everything's in there. You water it in first, and then you go back to the whatever system you was using. I was just hand watering every other day. Oh, so you just keep on watering the same way. The same way, just every other day. Yep. With so when wand? I put them when I put them in the first day, no, I don't give them no water. No, just let them search for it. Adjust. Yeah, the beds are always moist. I have to keep those beds alive no matter what. That's why the day I harvest, I can reset that room because I have to. Because no matter what, that room has to stay running. Got if you. I let that, I let that room, yeah, I can't. Yeah, let the, yeah. I can't leave the lights off. I can't let this room just sit. I can't do nothing. Something has to keep growing in here. So I shut a couple lights off if it takes more than a day. But I still have to water those beds like as if there were plants still in it. And then I plant cover crop every time I harvest. But I cheat because I don't even have to keep buying cover crop seeds. Let's just let them go to seed. Then I take the seeds. So the, the grain, when it grows, all of that, I just take all of the seeds from them. And then every time I harvest, I just throw them back. Let them go back to seed, throw them back. Talk about talk about it. That's nice, man. Yeah, ni nice and neat. Everybody tries to make organic so difficult. I could have sworn we went organic to be <laughs> to be easier. You know like what I'm starting to learn? same way you see nature work, follow it. What I'm learning about learning new things is not that it's easier or harder it's a whole new language you got to learn it is it's just a whole new language it's you a learn. whole new language you got to simplify yeah. everything like everything you thought about hydroponically just throw that all away you got to throw it all away throw it you really all do away. unless you're going to be feeding organic nutrients like out of a bottle to your beds or something like that or maybe uh like the mr canucks way but permanent like you're not going to move the soil again but you're just going to keep on amending it through the top uh, that, that's the only thing left to do and I don't have a problem with either way. Either way is great because if you're keeping that soil, yeah, just keep, yeah. just keep so no soil. matter what, it doesn't make yeah. a difference. Yeah. So if you're keeping that soil, but you're going to keep top amending, that's fine. It's just at a certain point, you may want to chill for a minute. At a certain point, you're going to have to chill. It's going to be it's, done. It's going to add she's up. Gonna be, she's going to be living in there. You're going to be like, damn, this shit, what's over. this? Shit, moving around and shit? Damn. And do not add worms to these pots or beds unless you're going to feed them. Because if not, you, you'll start digging through that soil and there won't be anything there for the worms to eat. They'll be gone. So when would you add worms after cover crop? I know I keep asking the same questions probably a lot not of people. Fire but away. I, I love these conversations. I can't for some reason get it through my head unless I see a sheet that the worms go in first. All. Yeah, the worms, worms go, go in, in the dirt first with nothing yes. to eat. They uh, have no food in there. No. I take uh uh like the tan paper. What do they use that paper for? It's like a thin tan paper. It comes in a roll. Is it construction paper? Uh, probably like some ground contractor covering. paper contractor or something. Paper? Yeah, yeah it's, it's like the same thing that the paper bags are made out of. OK, so uh, craft, I know craft paper. Yes. So I found some of that organic, non bleached, all of that other stuff. And I'll layer sheets of that and I'll put the worms on top of that and then put another layer over the worms afterwards. That'll feed you in the meantime while the cover crop is growing in. And then once the cover crop grows in and you hay it over. You look back like two days later or cardboard, cardboard, whatever, any kind of paper without no ink on it is going to be fine. They're going to tear through it. And if you want to be an asshole, even more layered food scraps into it and let them have their time going through that. Now you grow the cover crop. 
the worms is underneath that soil doing whatever they're doing to what you left there. Now you add the cover crop. Once that grows in, you just hay that over. You go back about three days later, and it's so much life happening underneath that shit. You're like, I didn't add none of these bugs. Like, I got the pincher bugs. You get the roly poly. So you think you they'll get... find their way in a seal? They room? will find their way. That's amazing. They will find. Well, I add 30% of You think that the bugs are soil. just. Oh, okay, okay. I yes. add 30% of native soil. So I know the eggs or the actual bugs are there. And, and I look for them. I go find the area. I lift some shit up, an old piece of wood or something that fell. You'll see all the life right there. And you hurry up and take all of that. Let me get everything underneath here. I just found some mushrooms that I posted in the greenhouse. You don't need that. You in the ground. You guys got tons of spores. I stole that shit, brought it straight to the beds. Okay. Like underneath that patch of mushrooms was a chunk of mycelium that was so <laughs> fucking big. It was huge. And I just split it between the two rooms. Okay, that makes like sense. They, you 30% can do things like thirty percent of native soil. Yeah, go find some good, good native shit. soil. Go go out with your buckets you know and your bins. Go find some good shit. Honestly, it doesn't matter. But yes, it matters. No matter what, no matter what, you're not understanding where I live. <laughs> there's native, life there. I know it's, it's just I know not it's life, but yeah. it's not that like that. Um, it's not that that rich. That rich, rich life, man. Yeah, it's I was it's different. The video, I'm I was probably, watching I'm a video wrong. earlier, and they were talking about like the droughts and stuff that's happening in California, and I'm seeing the fields and everything. And like, not one of these people thought yet to cover the ground. Like, I just look at their bare, bald headed ass grounds with this 100 plus degree heat Dry. beating on a bald ass head. And, and they're trying to figure out, like, how can we be more efficient and use less water? By covering the ground, you it, like you just want to reach through the screen. Like you guys got an abundance of hay, you got an abundance of organic material. The only way you're gonna stop that water from leaving every time you add it is to block it off from being seen by the light. You got That's... straw bales by the mother low, and you roll them up and sit them on your property and leave the ground bare afterwards. I'm like, yo, know, like yeah. thank you because I need that, but you guys are nuts. Yeah. Yeah. And I see it all I probably over. Go up, like, I probably got to go up to Humboldt and steal some of their soil. Where it's nice and, nice and just some nice soil. Man. Find a local park, anything like that, and that soil is untouched. No no one goes in there and messes Still with good, that. There's huh? no point in it spraying that. They don't go through and do any of that on those. So you could go find a nice patch where a bunch of leaves done fell at the end of the season. Take pails of that shit. That is gold right there. That is untouched Mother Nature for who knows how long since the inception of this place. Take that. Okay. Look, shit, look what it does to everything that grows there. Any seed that falls there is almost guaranteed to grow with no nutrients needed. See, that's how my front yard is. And that shit just look like red sand. Uh, that's some of the best soil. So like, do, you understand, some of that. do you understand people buy that? Maybe I'll take some of that because that's like when, when it's time to make soil. Everywhere. When it's time to make soil, like people look for that red sand. Like that, that shit has so many different properties you can use, and it might not look like a lot of life when you're looking at it. You so just put make that like a, a layer of that, huh? Yeah. Well, I mix it all together. Just mix it all up. Mix it all together. So whatever other soil you're gonna use. So if you're gonna use bales of pro mix with it with some happy frog or add all of that. Add the native soil to that and just keep mixing it in. So I have like the three bags of native soil, three trash bags of regular dirt. And I'll just keep on adding some of this, adding some of this, adding some of this. That makes one layer and just keep going from there. Okay. I'm yeah, you, you really only bottom. need a few. Like that's, said, a, that's enough because there's gallons. so many small ass microscopic things in there that's just waiting to grow bigger. And they're going to love that environment. They just don't have the environment like they're there, there but the they're time. waiting on they're waiting on some roots to come and start they're making an exchange water. with the microbes. They're waiting on. some. that's what's going to hold the water is the roots from all the other plants. If not, mm -hmm. then the water sits right on top of the hard pan and rolls right down the street afterward. You, you need roots like no, no roots is, is damaged to any soil. That's why I don't like seeing organic with nothing else growing there. You need some. You need some other roots in. There. Need something else. Yeah, that might be cool. I think that might work. And once you make the beds, like this, all sounds difficult, but this is making the beds. After that's done, it's over. Yeah, you'll be like me on round two of just water, and people asking you, "What do you use?" Tap water. Yeah, water. Yeah, and th that's it. Today, I realized that. Um, 
you got to calibrate your machines, bro. I went like inside. your pens and stuff. Yes, I went inside my room and I was like, oh shit, pH pen. No, I was looking up some other shit. I was lifted up a tarp and I was like, oh, get my pH pen. I go in there with the pH pen. That shit was like eight point eight. I'm like, damn. I'm going everywhere at 8, 9, 9.5, 9.7. I was like, damn, let me go try to tap water, tap water 10. I'm like, what? This is crazy. And the and whole I time, it's the machine. Went up there and he calibrated it. Hurried up, came back. 6.0, 6.2. I'm like, tap water. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Got, got that yeah. buffer in it. Man, that shit was dope because I was stressed and I'm like, oh my God, I got to switch this shit. But it was mm -hmm. just calibration, man. And calibration is so fucking easy. It is. I don't know why my mind just be closed off to anything that I don't know sometimes. It's just like, nope, I don't want to hear about it. I don't want to think about it. I don't want to worry about none of that shit. Fuck all that. I'm doing this. And that's like, nah, man, shit be see? really simple out here. I reverse it. That's that, why I'm going to force myself what, to do that living soil shit. I'm going to force myself to do it. That's what like, makes me want to learn about it. When I hear something and it's not simple, I'm like, let me go listen to this because it, it I'll know if this is worth it or not based off what I hear. Like I heard crop steering and that sounded amazing. It sounds great. It was just irrelevant as fuck. It was just like, okay, don't overwater your plants. Keep them on the dry side. That's all you're doing. I, keep keep them on the I dry side. Swore, I could have swore we knew this already without that term coming in to confuse us. Keep them on the dry side. Like if you're, but you, you know what? There's new growers every day and they are overwatering like shit. Like I'll see no till beds and I'll see yellow leaves and small leaves and the leaves don't have a petiole that holds it out. Like I'll automatically know you're giving these too much water. How often are you watering? Once every four days? Yeah. How about going in there every other day and just giving it a little bit of water? Yeah. Cannabis is different, man. You want to give it stuff. To, you want to, you want to give it water at these certain times because it's like, like like me when I go into the veg room, I got like nine fucking mothers on the same tray. Two gallon pots. They need to get out of there. They will. Don't worry about me. I just like doing crazy shit, right? They super big. They'll run out of water at 3 p.m. Then they'll run out of water at 12 p.m. At like 11 p.m. And then they'll, they don't need it in the morning. Then they'll need it at 11 p.m. At 11 a.m., I mean. Like, they so sporadic, so it's like now I'm just like, you know what? I'm going to wake up in the morning, feed them. And before I go to sleep at night, I'm going to feed them again. Yep. And they're getting too much water, but they're not showing signs of too much water. But I know sometimes some of them are getting too much water. Too much so it's water, like a yep. weird balance. You got to kind of understand with these plants. It's like every plant going to drink different. You got that going on. Then you got uh, heat spikes. That's going to make the water evaporate quicker, make the roots drink more. It's, it's tough to get to, man. You really got to like, you really just got to know what the hell you're doing, truthfully. And yes, this is this is technically no-till if you're not tilling. Yeah. If you got raised beds and you don't do anything else to, oh, wait till you guys see the raised beds that I'm making next year. Oh, my God. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I just I got the I forgot I got the idea earlier today. I took those plans down. The raised beds I'm doing next year are gonna be crazy. Um, but yeah, raised beds are no-till. And you know what? I always loved no-till, I always loved organic, and I just didn't think it would work indoor. I always heard that the growth was slower, but then I found out 90% of people are overwatering. Um, 90% of people are overfeeding on top of overwatering. So then I look at these organic grows and it's just like can A and B one gallon pots of cocoa. Or Jack's three, two, one, one gallon pots. Keep it simple. Like yeah, I, it yeah, because if you want to keep it results. simple, keep it simple. Yeah. yeah, look at the results. But then I'm like, wait a minute, I I don't go through this outdoor, and it rains on these beds, and it rains, and they get way too. That means you guys are giving way too much water to be able to beat that out. And I'm like, let me not. Let me just try it. I got an open room. Try that shit, and I'm like, yeah, it's over. Yeah, it's over. The bud. I, I, I took one plant down because it was just completely done. Faded, done, good to go. That was last week. Got to trimming it this week. The plant was three ounces and some change. And a no-till bed? Yeah. Real quick, uh, some people say you got to look at the leaves and shit like that. That is true. But if you can't see it, what do you do? If you've already see, seen it, you've gone too far. If, if you know, I'm saying if you see that everything's fine and you leave 
in an hour, it could be not fine. Facts. Just that fast. Just that quick. So you got to know what you did, what what level of water you put in, how fast you drink, and you got to lift the pots. A lot of people, damn, you don't understand. Arguments get caused with my wife. When I send her one place to water the plants, I'm like, don't water, don't water the little ones. I'd be like, don't water the little ones. They're good for like a couple of days. Don't even water them. And I'd be like, what you do? So I water, water all the, the plants. One. I'm like, I'm like, did you pick the little ones up? Nah, it was dry on top. It was looking all dry. I was like, that's the top, bro. That like, is most people's you know, downfall and most right people's there. problems. They just look at the top. They don't pick the plant up. Pick the whole thing up, man. Mm-hmm. It's best to water everything to saturation. Pick it up so you know where you at, and then you could you could just do your pickup test from there. I water the beds in good the very very first time. No, I don't. It takes about <laughs> four day. It takes about a four day process. I learned to get the beds the way you want to. You'll go in and water it, and then the next day you'll go in and water it again. And every day you'll notice little dry spots, little dry spots, and then eventually you'll notice that this whole bed is taking the water. You'll reach down in it. Everything's moist. Everything's nice. From that point on. It's just every other day, give them some water. How much water? Some you can't water. say that. You yeah, can't it's, say it's some water. Much. Like, it's like I just you gotta really wand be hands over. On. You gotta you gotta feel it out. Wand over them. On. Make sure that each spot got a nice, and then go to the next row. And you then know what I do like though about you organic guys is using that um, using a yucca. You have to water that shit in so it fully saturates your bed. That, and if you're was, in pots, you need yucca more than anybody else. If you're because in pots, once your yeah, once your root mass gets too big, you'll water, and that shit will just run right off of the sides if the top dries out. But if you don't allow the top dry out, now you're risking fungus gnats and overwater, and then your stem rotting. So yucca is the best thing that's for you because it, it can penetrate even when you guys have massive amounts of roots. Massive root balls. Yeah. yeah now you don't have yeah. to, you're either going to have to go through and stab holes through it to make the water infiltrate better. Uh-huh. Or you could just use the yucca every time you water. And then once it's in there, you're good. And you're watering with it every time. You're, all your roots will get water. I got to implement that too. Yeah. Shit's got to change, man. And then I'm scared to change because then I'm going to be changing there and not changing everywhere else. And it's like, oh, shit. Eventually, oh, you will once you man. see the difference. Once you see the difference, you'll, you'll, I'm, I'm just gonna use this everywhere. Yeah, you'll just agree that you'll use it everywhere. Once you go, the floor flex cocoa setups look really nice. I didn't see it, they look really good. No, I'm just saying, like, they just look amazing. What's the setup? Uh, like THC Titan setup, basically. Oh, with the bags on the bags, uh, bags, the trays. cocoa, put them on the yeah. trays, and they grow hell. It's nice a really nice good. setup. It's a nice setup. It's a really nice setup. And but those it, bags are wasteful. disposable, right? It's disposable, but it's still wasteful. Are they biodegradable? No, I'm saying are, right? like you're still buying them every fucking round. Yeah, you're still you buying that thing every round, every round and dispose of it every round. So, yeah, I, I see what you mean. I do not miss that shit. I do not miss blowing up all of that cocoa from the bricks. And then having the transplant. It's a, it's a process. It's a hell of a process. a process. What I really don't miss is transplanting 84 clones every single time that I got to fill another room up. Into new pots. Into new pots. But then eventually the pots get salty and dirty. So at some point you're going to have to clean the pots. You're going to have to. You're also yep. going to have to clean the tray at some point. Because yep. it just starts to look too nasty. And if you're doing videos, that's the last thing you want is a crusty ass tray. Like, and that's yeah. what I'm not going to miss. What I would not miss that them dirty, dusty ass pots. No, like that'd be nice to get rid Thank of that you. shit. Hell Just yeah, come out the cloner and yo. Really? How much space? How much space would you free up in your work area if you got rid of all your pots? Uh, that would just make the outside of my place look very fucking inconspicuous. Maybe uh, looks because like we, not over the years we stuff. have collected pots of all different sizes. We got mm. pots we will never use again. I can't find five gallon pots. All you got is ten. I and- threw them all away and went to three gallon pots. And now it's like when I have a mom or something that I need to keep I around no for five a little gallon bit. Pot. I ain't got no five gallon pot. Like, damn. Damn. But it's cool. Yeah. It's cool. I, the one gallons were cool. You know what I'm saying, but uh, I, I just can't go back to that. The Terps made all. The Terps was the game changer. Nothing else was the game changer. It was literally the flavor the yield, and the terps. I never had a round smell that good. I never had a round so sticky. 
Uh, that that was another thing that No-Till brought back. Everything was sticky as fuck. Like, are you adding sticky. anything? No. So you're not doing no sugars or anything at the end? No. That's great. That's great. No. Uh, should That's I great. have? M- maybe. You know no, what? not even should have. It's an option that you chose it to just go I'm through a water I'm going to try it this time and see yeah. if it actually makes a, a bigger difference. I might feed like a FPJ or something at the end and see see what kind of difference that makes. But no, that was just with fresh water all the way through. I like that just you did it like greasy. that. I like that yeah. you did it with fresh water so you already know that this is all the plant needs. Now, if you want to just get a little fun with it, you yep. can go ahead and add a little thing. See if it makes up any difference because you have your control do, set already. The most I would do is either be adding or feeding microbes. I'm not thinking about no nutrients. I ain't thinking about no NPK ratios. I'm not thinking about any of that. I know that what's in this soil is good enough to feed these plants. It's just can I get enough microbes to help keep up with the job? So that's the main thing I will focus on is the microbes and fungi. Because that, that's going to be the name of the game right there. Yo, but the tap water has this in it, and it's going to do this to your plant. That's what that's what the fungi is for. The fungi has one layer of skin that will beat the shit out of every disease on planet Earth, and it does it on a daily basis. Whatever's in that water, I guarantee you cannot fuck with the fungi. Guarantee you. If it could, then we would have no house plants outside. We would have no trees. We would have no grass. We wouldn't have nothing. If eventually this played the factor. Now, if your tap water is upwards of six, seven hundred, I'm going I, to have a difference of opinion on this. Yeah, of course. If you got that high ass, crazy ass Flint water or something, you get, Don't get do a that. filter. Get, yeah, a, get filter. a filter. Yeah, get a filter. What do you think about this comment? Uh, Philip Morrison said, Philip Morrison, isn't that a um, cigarette company? Or that Morris, Philip Morris. Okay. Uh, make sure you can handle the humidity from beds indoors, though. I've never gotten bud rot, and I finished that last round around like 60%, 70% humidity. So humidity is not a problem. No, not if you got good airflow. Yeah, uh, harvest season comes at the most humid time of the year. It's rainy season for everybody during harvest season. It's the most humid time of the year. And the only reason you guys are dealing with the problems out there is because you don't have no fans. Okay. The in, indoor, I get to cheat. I got fans and all sorts of shit. But no, I've never gotten bud rot. I've never gotten no kind of issues from any of that. Yeah. Uh, <clears throat> somebody t- told me on my Instagram post, and I was talking about the ebb and flow, and he was like, yeah, you can't do any crop steering with that. Then another person was like, that humidity is just going to be so much humidity in there with those no, reservoirs in there. And I'm like, bro, this is the same shit. Uh, ain't nothing changing. This is Bruh, the shit. reservoirs are underneath the table, getting no light, doing hardly no evaporation. And if you put a lid over the top of it, none of that is coming out. It, like, what are you talking about? People just say stuff to just be saying it. Like, if you want to crop steer just to say you crop steering, more power to you. But more power like, to you. The best we we know of to this very day that we still brag about came from somebody with a wand and a seven gallon pot of super soil or a bucket. Or a bucket, or a hempy bucket, a yeah, yeah. Pitcher, the Home just Depot going in bucket. there every day, yeah, with a doop, pitcher, doop, giving doop. it way too much water. You know what I'm saying? Uh, built a super soil that was probably too hot. Got got the most fire shit we've ever gotten before. Yeah, Vader ain't never mentioned anything about humidity. Well, no humidity, like what? The humidity? Like yeah, I had to go and get a quest to keep up with the humidity from the flood and drain tables from that one or two minutes a day. Like <laughs> what? That's it. Crazy, right? Like well, the, the water shows it. itself for a quick second and then it disappears. I just be looking at it like, okay. And that's the thing. Like, we got to stop looking at people's grows and trying to, like, make comments on it because they're growing. They're doing what you want to see. You're following them because they're growing. You don't need to nitpick. Mm -hmm. Let them grow how they grow. Whatever they're doing is working just fine for them. And if it ain't, they'll probably ask a public question because that's what I do. Something not going on. Hey, homies, uh, what you think this is or what you think that is? Get a whole bunch of different comments and then go from there. Like, okay, I asked y'all some things, you know, but um, just keep going. <clears throat> hey, Green Goblin, what, what what do you think about how to get rid of the humidity at the end of the rounds when you in no-till pots in bed? Truthfully, I didn't, I didn't think it mattered. I couldn't get the humidity down. I wasn't about to sit there and fight with it. I wasn't going to deal with none of at that. At 60%, why would you care about the humidity? Why would I even care? That sounds good. That's like... I watched, I watched uh, Medicropper harvest a room at 100% humidity. One, the, the, the meter wasn't on. Like, you could look at the, it just had lines on it. It was raining from the ceiling. 
literally raining from the ceiling. You guys could go find the video. Raining from the ceiling. Got the biggest harvest to date. Hit three pounds of light. No, no yeah. issues. Not one drop of bud rot. Now, if I got 50% temperatures and 70% humidity, I may worry. And I, it might have to get lower than 50 for me to worry, honestly. More power to the people, though, that that that, that focuses on every single aspect. Like, yeah, that's, shout that's out dope. to them. That's dope. To have that time and that patience to worry about 30 mils of water going in at 9, 9.30, 12 mils going in, 10.30, uh, we're going to do a mass feeding. And I'm going to do it mils. from my phone and I'm going to monitor how much yeah. of the water... Yeah, shout out to you. Keep keep it up. Keep it up. Yeah. But I'm just gonna let you know there's people out there smoking your fucking boots doing way less work. <laughs> yeah, it's Do people thing, out there man. growing straight fire doing way less work. I just uh, yo, I hate that they brought all of this to the community because it's like there's some really tough trees to grow. All right, there's so hold some- on, hold on one second, one second, one second. Philip. Get a fucking dehumidifier, bro. What is your issue? Get a dehumidifier. Okay? I think he said he had one. And Get a bigger one. This should not be an issue. Or stop caring. If you have humidity problems and you're worried about it, get a dehumidifier. That's like, that's the, I don't know. I came in the game and I had to spend a lot of, my folks just say, you trying to grow? Here go the list. I'm like the list. This nigga, sent, this nigga sent me to some some construction stores, some grow stores, a paint store. I'm like, yeah, you got to get mold proof paint. I got you gotta- everything on the list, and we put it all together. And I didn't have none of these fucking problems. You gotta, you gotta, when you before you start growing, you gotta map out your environment, man. You gotta make sure everything is set. Thank and sixty-five percent is great. Yo, there's, great. I have a thermostat. In my People be trying to be like fifty percent. Like fuck a fifty percent, bro. No, that's like you can shoot for it, but sixty-five is wonderful. It feels good. I got a meter that good. gives you. It gives you happy and sad faces when the humidity is where it's supposed to be for for it to feel pleasant, and when it's bad. When it's under fifty, it's a sad face. When it's sixty and above, it's a happy face. Once it hits over seventy-five, then it starts to be like, uh. But if you you attempt to hit seventy-five for thirty minutes, it, it doesn't really matter. How about you just water and leave the door open for a few hours, and then go back a few hours later and close it? Like, there's so many different ways to to to. I don't know your growth setup, but I, I just don't think about stuff like that. Like, I want growing to be fun. Like when it comes to growing any other plant, like it's it's fun, it's simple, it's easy. Th- th- y'all make this one so difficult, and it's a weed. It will. Frosty just put up a, a reel not long ago of so many volunteers just coming up by themselves, <laughs> off nothing. Oh yeah, they did doing you, that thing. What water did you give them? That two days a weekend of rain that we had a couple weeks ago. And and they just come up by themselves. Are they still alive? That's all they needed. Have they gotten any water since? Well, I stepped on a couple. But uh, if you didn't step on them, would they they still still be? And they haven't got no water. Nope. Oh, okay. Yeah. Not a (laughs) drop. People people be worried about all the wrong stuff. Like, and and if you're going organic, make it as fun as human. Oh, you should see my backyard, though, because my wife was under the shade cloth and she was uh, chucking the seeds for me. Bruh. Crazy. That shit (laughs) shit look crazy down there. I'm like, you throw these seeds? Like, nah, them was all like the white ones and the green ones. Like they still seeds. Yeah, no matter what. Seeds, no matter no what. matter what. And it shows you how viable that some of these seeds still are. Yep. So don't start talking ish if somebody gives you a fucking um a light brown seed or a green seed. I've gotten seed, quite a few and they, they're they gonna germinated. Pop. They germinated just fine. Quicker. Like, they're soft as shell. So they're gonna I, bounce up out of there and grow. They're gonna be good, man. I just pour them all in there. I got one pack of seeds that was so goddamn suspect. Like they had barely any tiger stripes on them, but they were big ass seeds. Mm -hmm. Like the seeds were hella chunky, hella healthy, but they were like kind of on the white side. Yeah, I got some of those. Popped them. They did absolutely amazing. They have just no 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 issues whatsoever. I got the same percentage I would have got if they were all brown and tiger striped. Hey Philip, don't take nothing personal. Uh, It's not confrontational. We all no no no. What you do is you start the conversation. I just want to go in. And I just want to tell people, like, before you get into growing, you got to know about these things. 
You can't just yes. go to the store and just grab seeds and throw them in a cup and think everything's going to be all right. Like you got to mm-hmm. think about it for the long mm-hmm. haul. Like I need a dedicated space for this stuff. I need in and out or I need some some kind of fan, some ventilation, some air movement. You know what I mean? Like you need certain things if you're going to do it inside. You need things inside. I just want you guys to know that. Yes. And yeah. I like I still I still like the one gallon cocoa setup. I, I don't nah, have nothing man. against it. That shit is cool. I just don't know how to uh I just I don't know, I'm scared of cocoa, man. It's so easy. Cocoa just not my friend. Yeah, it, it, once you learn it, it's so easy. Like no one believed me one minute of water a day. I honestly just want to be outside and growing weed. Me too. I just wish I people do. would buy yeah. it like they used to. See, I you like know what I'm saying? Door. Yeah. I wish people still held a high regard for it like they used to. Like it just it just made me make my day if I could just be outside for six months. You know what I mean? Give you, know you, what give they, you all I got, and then that's it. But it's not like that. No, because I don't like some... being inside. I'm I'm gonna keep it real. I don't like being inside. Mm-hmm. I don't like it's just uh it's okay, but it's like outside is so much better. So so much better. <laughs> so much better but that that is the problem. That, that is outside the problem, is so good to you that it a regular grower that has space for two two greenhouses, he can now flood shit. Now multiply him by eighty in your area. Now multiply him by eighty in another in area. area. It's eighty that, in my neighborhood. You see I what get I'm on saying? My fucking satellite, and it's like. But this is <laughs> this is a bunch more neighborhoods as this plant's going legal. At, so so normally we had to wait on Cali. For the most part, especially during the winter time, like we have to wait on Cali. When Cali's done, that's when we'll all be good, or somewhere mm-hmm. close to that region, Oregon, something. But they got a wet ass season, so I ain't it was nobody thinking it's about tough. that. It's we tough. We had to it's we had there. to wait for Cali. Mm-hmm. Uh, now you no longer have to wait for Cali. Like uh, Maine is recreationally legal. I seen some farms up there that are massive, bro. With that weather, massive. you're not gonna lose. Greenhouse oh, in that weather, oh, out of, out of here, and the colors that they're pulling, the density that's coming at the end because they know what to grow at this point. Those growers that are there are the same growers who've been there, like uh, it wasn't a whole they bunch know they of people. Season. Yeah, they didn't move to Maine and all. Of, who do you hear about that move to Maine to start growing? No one, the people who were there started growing, that's and mm-hmm. they crushed it. And now pff, they they kill it. Now we don't have to wait for Cali. You just have to wait for your local area to finish a nice size uh, until winter time comes. Then it gets good again. Yeah. Because there's no more outdoor. And winter over here is a long season. Uh, same person on the screen, File Bundy, said, I just hate the bugs. And you know, as I get older, I don't give a fuck about them bugs. I don't Which even bugs? care about them. None of them. I just don't care about them no more. I just be trying to figure out, like, do people think you're just going to walk in the room and it's just going to be bugs crawling all over everything? No, like, I'm talking about, like, outside. People don't like the bugs outside. Oh. But, um, yeah, I don't care no more, man. Because, you know, like, after after listening and talking to Queen of the Sun and how she was just saying, like, small percent of your crop going to get give, back, give it back to nature. That's all you're doing. I got aphids on one plant. Of one strain out of three. And I'm like, have fun, bro. Live. Yeah, enjoy. Just live. Enjoy. Like, That's cool. The birds stripped the whole blackberry bush, a big one, too. They stripped the whole thing in like three days because they had a bunch of babies. And those babies all got birthed around the same time in all of my windows. <laughs> yeah. Oh, them and, your babies. And they needed something them to is eat. Them your babies. So you know what they do? They stay in the backyard. <laughs> but in return... My dogs got almost no fleas and ticks this year. Boom, right there. Because the, because the birds have been there eating all of the ticks and everything. Like I, y- you guys are welcomed. I have seven <laughs> other blackberry bushes that y'all left alone. You guys messed up one apple tree, but I got six of them. Like I, I enjoy. Yeah. Enjoy, because I need you, you. It makes you a better person for the future. Like next year, I know I'm going to plant. Um, I for, keep forgetting that same plant, but aphids love it. I'm gonna plant that in the greenhouse. Yep. Or, or it. go to that or one. You can have move it. it out. A, move it out a little bit. Yeah, move, move it out a little bit a to the edge wall somewhere. Or something. Yeah. yeah, and and let them have them. to get through that before they go through anything else. Put a little drip on there. Water that too. When I water the other stuff, go yeah. ahead. Yeah, have a nice little 
Yes. A fit fam family going on over there. And then the Do bugs will come thing. start eating them. Cycle yes. of life continues. Then, it's, then the spiders will come and start eating the bugs that's coming to eat them. And, yep. and, and the next thing you know, you, you got a barrier of protection because that whole bush is just going to be webs. It's just going to be spider webs and they'll just yep. be waiting on anything to come through. Pull up, please. You had some big ass spiders, but I seen the biggest spiders ever this year. And I seen mad praying mantis. I'm I'm feeling the spiders this year, honestly. These certain spiders I got, they're brown and they have like some white stripes mm -hmm. and they stay in the hay. Yeah. They, 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 they got a little burrow like uh, in the hay. Bruh, yeah. I'm talking about it's thousands of them. When I was watering, they just moving around, moving around. I'm like, oh, yeah. Now, do you, think, do you think you'll have fungus gnats? No fungus gnats. What is a fungus gnat? I haven't even nothing. You're not seeing those because they no. can't get down or come back out. Yeah, like no matter which way you go, yep. you're through. Thanks yep. to these spiders. It's the nature is the dopest shit in the fucking. This so is the just, most I do it. is I'll I'll go back there with my bamboo sticks, maybe move a web. Like I'll I'll wrap it up a little bit and move it over to a different spot if I got to get through. If you I, need I, to get I, through, yeah. yeah. If you need but to I, get but through, I'll leave them there. Or I'll tap right. it a few times and it'll run over to the corner and I'll break the web. But I know you'll put this back up by tomorrow. Big ass spiders, though. <laughs> Laugh out loud. I was trimming fan leaves today outside and those big ass spiders were jumping at me. Lots of them this year. Good. That means that, that good. That means they you're working. creating a good environment for them. Yep. But think about all of the butterflies that got stopped. Think of all the caterpillars that got stopped. Think of, like like they catch all of those, especially when they web like <laughs> underneath a leaf or something, man. Go ahead. I just come through with the holes before I harvest. Scare the hell out of them. They run all sorts of different places. Yeah, grasshoppers was crazy this year. I ain't gonna lie. I seen hella grasshoppers and I seen a lot of grasshopper damage. They they really? they yeah, they tore a couple of my greens up. I ain't mind them though, because eventually they disappeared when the birds <laughs> when the birds came, but they served their purpose. That's what's funny about it because it's a it's a it's a it's levels. You yeah, know, it's a food. It's a food level. But when thing, they're eating man. that, they're shitting, and that insect frass is fertilizing that's my that soil. Fire. So, yeah. So if that's you guys that, that's are going to take, want. <laughs> and they chose, and they chose like two. They chose one cabbage, and they chose one uh, Japanese spinach, and and they just kind of stayed right there. Like you've seen all the grasshopper and caterpillar damage on those two. They left all the rest alone. Yeah. And I yeah, heard the grasshoppers, uh, the grasshopper frass, that shit. The insect like, frass is, but what it does is it activates the immune system of the plant. So it puts the plant on a high alert. So so now any kind of uh, mold spores, any kind of bacterial and fungi things that are coming after it, uh, any kind of stress, it's already built to deal with it. And that comes from adding the insect frass to it. I built mm. the beds with, with what had to be insect frass because I amended it in the beds before I moved them indoor. So when I first made those beds, insect frass was was in there. Hell yeah, that's the dope. That's the dope, dope, dope. That's the yeah, fun man. part about soil. Like when you're stuck in cocoa, there's nothing left to do. It's just it's with, nothing with, to do. It's, it's sterile. What nutrient do I use? That's the that's only it. thing that you're thinking about. W that's with it. the beds, it starts getting fun. Like, um, what's a more efficient way that I could feed these beds? Especially when you're growing some food inside of the beds. Yes. Now you, you know can bring how, your kid in there and be like, "Look, you see that's your uh, that's your beans. Those are beans." I cook with out. mustard greens from out. the bed almost every single night. Like the family don't even. It's not even a meal no more if you don't have the those greens on the side of it. And yeah. I just take them right out of the beds. Yeah. And you could get them when they're micro, or you could let them get bigger. It doesn't, and they and they keep coming back. That's the one thing I like about the mustard greens. They they never stop coming. They just keep coming, huh? They, yeah. Even when you cover it over with hay. You're going to have some mustard greens that find their way through that hay, and I just let them go. Yeah, I got some nice cover, like some ground cover, like some viney ground cover growing. It looks cool. Dope, though. It looks let really it go. nice, man. Let I ain't mess go. with it. I'm just letting it chill. Go ahead. Alfalfa meal is a, it's a great product to use. Or you could just use alfalfa straw, and the worms will turn it into alfalfa meal. Mm -hmm. That's what I started with, the alfalfa straw. That's what I used, too. And you can mix straws too, you guys. Like if you if you got a thinner straw like alfalfa straw, you can mix it with a tougher straw, and and that way you you got something that'll last a little bit longer. They'll go they'll go through that uh through that alfalfa straw quick, quick because it's kind of like dusty, you know. It I mean? is kind of so like so if you thin. if you add like a thicker one to it and you just make a nice batch of that, 
often you'll have something they can eat and that's your bloom booster right there and it also releases a whole bunch of nutrients on top of releasing worm castings and insect crass and a whole bunch of other stuff so that i think it's well worth it i honestly would do all this stuff if i had like 12 plants what this mixture saying. right here yeah now i would like i would like care about spraying my plants like when you go outside and see all them plants, I'm like, I'm not about to spray that shit. I'm not about to spray them shit. Not, <laughs> that shit too much. It's too much, man. My mother came I'll over. Do. He was like, I oh, see a caterpillar right here coming off. Like, That's cool. And I was like, Yeah, I was gonna spray. He was like, Spray all this. I was like, Yeah, I am. I've been I've been saying that for about three weeks. <laughs> the most I'll do is this: I'll get a trash can and some ice cold water. I'll even I'll make big things of ice just to put in it afterwards, and I'll spray all the plants off with that. People underestimate you're how much welcome, cold you're water welcome to come things. do it. <laughs> yeah, no, I mean I'm like with a hose. No, with. I mean with a hose. Oh, just like a water hose. Yeah, yeah, I attach it to gotcha. a uh, the, gotcha. to a big sub pump in a trash can full of some ice cold water. And I'll go through and I'll spray all the plants with those. Yeah. You guys be worried about the wrong bugs. Like, you guys are smoking the shit out some predator mites and be worried about everything else. Y'all smoke the fuck out of predator mites. Dead ones. And then you guys who love live rosin and all of that, all, all sorts of bug guts is in those. Just Every the time they that. squash that, you got all sorts of bug guts in there. Caterpillar. And, you know, most of it come from outdoor sorts. It's caterpillar guts and molded weed. It's all sorts of shit going into that. No, we shouldn't worry about extract. bugs. We shouldn't worry about bugs. Got um, dust bunnies everywhere, man. Yeah. Dust bunnies everywhere, skin mites. We got mites on our skin, no hair bugs. follicle mites. Uh, we a bug. Shit, we all the same shit. You'll go to the store and look at the broccoli, <laughs> and you'll see worms in the broccoli. Damn, that's crazy. I never see no shit like that. I be yeah, hearing, I be little... hearing people talk about you looking yes. outside the broccoli. That shit is nasty. You got bugs in. I'm like, I ain't never seen it, and I ain't even about to look. Throw that shit. In the I pot. don't even care. Throw that Boil. shit in the pot, and yeah. it's getting cooked. <laughs> I don't care. Throw that shit. Pot, man. I do not care about none of that shit. Uh, again, after I learned what the FDA allowed in my food, I really stopped caring because it's like I've been eating bugs. You've been eating a lot of like, shit. Like I've been eating bugs. Like it, it doesn't make it. And if I lived in another country, we would eat bugs like it's nothing. Like you would go down the street and get you a bag of fried crickets with seasoning shaked up in the in a sandwich bag, and you that be and a be healthier. Snack. And You'd be, be way healthier. healthier. You'd be way healthier. Yo, 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 Gigi, you've been seeing those videos they've been showing on uh, like the reels. And it's like this scientist that'll pull like a banana out and pull like a banana peel and put it in the microscope. And you'll see all sorts of shit inside. You don't care. You that's still a gonna microscope. You're going to see shit under a microscope like that's And then you look in your regular eyes. And like, I don't see nothing. Yeah, because there ain't nothing to see. Man, it's not your and business. And it ain't your business. Bacteria. If you got to look at it, if you got to look under a microscope or something, mind your business. Yeah. Your eyes don't come like that. My Increase goodness. your gut bacteria, you'll stop <laughs> worrying about it. I'm a savage. Like I, I, I didn't care. You, you flaming hot different. crickets. Oh, wait till that hit the hood near you, boy. They're gonna. You had that flame, <laughs> yo. I've seen that flaming hot. Uh, you put that shit on anything. Chemical, chemical. Yeah, that that chemical that they yeah. use for flaming hot. <laughs> I've seen them add that shit to everything like shit macaroni and cheese i saw a box of macaroni and cheese yep. with Top the flame and hot joint on i'm You're like crazy. oh yeah y'all tripping tripping now and it's not even a food like they got a so brainwashed that's not even a food you know i had to i had to argue with my wife the other day she came in and my son was all like tripping like ah, ah, ah. i'm like what the fuck what have you been he was like him? he was like oh he wants the donut i'm like see that's what we got to do we got to stop like we we, See, we just got like into this. We just we just in got into a whole bunch of shit, and then I was trying to let her understand though that that's the problem. We've been brainwashed thinking things are food, and it's nothing but a fucking factory full of fucking chemical, a chemical. Yes, factory. that's yes. all these places are chemical factories. I look when at juice, and if it has more than like four or five ingredients, usually three or four. But if I look at juice, and it's a paragraph full of ingredients. For apple juice or orange juice, why am it's I like, drinking this? It's like y'all doing. It's like, why am I drinking this? Why am I drinking it? Uh, you know what? I, they got so many machines now online for like 20, 30 bucks. It, it's it's kind of worth it to just take some fruit and make your own goddamn juice. 
like that. And that's oh, what yeah, I do. Yeah, yeah. And that's yeah. what I do. Like I'll, I'll just make my own guy or, or I'll go get a concentrate and I, I'll use that juice. The one I you got to add. I love apple to. juice though. I like buying apple juice. just pure apple juice. That shit is fire. Yeah. You, I'm in. Sometimes apple. I drink too much. Drink I'm in apple much, country. So, you know, we apple cider, apple juice, our fucking yeah. life away. Especially apple, apple cider, cider donuts, too. apple. Hot everything. apple cider. Man. Hot apple cider. Hot apple cider. You never had hot apple cider? Ha- bro, you never had hot apple cider? Bro, me neither. I we live a, here and I we thought you was a tea <laughs> man, bro. Hot apple cider hot with a cinnamon stick? Cider. With a cinnamon stick. An apple cinnamon. Oh, so you got the apple jacks in the cup. Fire. The apple jacks in the cup. Bro, fire. Damn, see, now you got me thinking. Go ahead and think about that. Run a commercial. <laughs> run a commercial. Let's pay these bills and hit the cash app, man. Why y'all don't hit the cash app? It, it, do, you, oh, do you not appreciate right us? Are we not yeah. appreciated here? And we here every week for y'all on every time. Week. And we give y'all the dopest shows. We let y'all ask what y'all want to. And I'm saying that the least you could do is is, is hit that thing on up. Come but on, yeah, We'll be bro. right back. Come yeah. on. <laughs> Hot apple cider not- with the cinnamon, clove, and the nutmeg? Yo, that sound pressure. I don't see how no. you ain't. Oh, come on, man. Yo, I ain't never heard of that mixture. You I'm not tripping. Go I'm not going to make that. We'll be Hit back. The right, Hit the cash <laughs> app. Hit the cash app. All right, Green Table family, let's talk lighting for a second. What you're looking at now is the Medic Grow Smart 8. Visit MedicGrow.com for you to be able to get the Smart 8. Use the Green Table at discount and receive 10% off. The Medic Grow Smart 8 is a 760 watt LED used for commercial growers, but it's also great for small scale growers. It has the daisy chain options. It has everything that you can need. That 660 nanometer red spectrum to be able to get those really decent blooms even though it is a full spectrum like those added 660 nanometers just put that extra oomph into the bulk stage when it comes to growing low energy puts off little to no heat you could put your hand right next to it and you could tell that the dissipation of the heat just goes so smoothly that you feel nothing when you put your hands close to it the expectancy is up to 50,000 hours with a three-year warranty on it it is plug and play as soon as you plug it in that thing is ready to go it is said to cover a 4x4 or a 5x5 but in my humble opinion it covers a 6x6 no issue so if you guys are looking for a light as of right now visit medicgrow.com use the green table at checkout and get you a light that not only folds not only does this light fold it also has a led screen that shows you the wattage being used shows you your dli and it also has a built-in timer right to it so no more of worrying about your timers going out or anything the timer is built directly into the light along with the dial to be able to get it anywhere from zero to a hundred percent of of efficiency so you could turn the light up and down at will that is the medic grow smart a visit medicgrow.com use the green table at checkout yeah yeah what does princess mind mean to me we're all royals none of them are like me and they don't want to be we all are and love to be unique we're not carbon copies of the latest hottest celebrity I mean, I love B, but she do be way better than me. And she would be no good at doing me. We embrace our natural crown, and we are proud of our natural color. Why change the king's art? We are his princess and princesses. We are his art. I am 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 his art. We are his art. And come on, you know that sugar cane juice is just pressure. That's just, that's the pressure. I don't know about that one. Sugar cane juice? Life. Never heard of that. Yeah, it's just life. Like, uh, when you think about sugar, that that's not sugar. Like, if you ain't getting that sugar cane, that or maybe the paste you get, that, that one's good. But, like, the sugar we get, that that's not the sugar that the from the sugar cane juice. Of course it's not. That's chemical. Different. Yeah. Sugar's not a food. It's a stimulant. 
but sugar cane, uh, did, yeah, some of those are good. Okay, sugar cane. Some, is. some of them. Some. That's why they they separated it now. Now you'll see they have organic raw cane sugar, and then they have the white sugar. Yeah, they're yeah. they're, com they're complete. If different. I fuck with sugar, that shit got to be raw. Yeah, raw cane. raw cane sugar, man. Yeah. Sugar cane, the great markers too. Yes. Yeah. We well, used to do I ain't gonna lie, what's his grape juice? That shit good. I know it ain't it's chemicaled up, but it, that shit fire. For some it's reason, so good. I, it's so good, so you good. know it's something wrong with it. Man, anything that it's good is something good. wrong with it. Yo, my uncle that shit, right. <laughs> mm, shit. That shit is so good. My uncle told me one day uh that his girl had made him uh I think it was like a sausage or something. Um, and he eating it, he don't eat pork, but as soon as he took the first bite, he just eating it, he like yo. This is just too good. Like there, <laughs> there has to be something to this. Like I never had one this good. He goes and checks the the packaging and everything. Pork. That and it's funny that that's how he could tell that yeah. something was off with the shit because he said it was just too good. For real. Because he ain't never had that shit before. Um, <clears throat> I was outside today and I was looking at my three quarter my my half inch holes going towards the beds, and they had this little attachment to it little like the little white attachment to it. it's like a two or three part thing just to connect it to a filter right and i'm like i forgot i got these i got these little permalock um from half inch to a hose thread that usually they don't sell them out they usually sell a pipe thread but this one is mm -hmm. to a hose thread so i'm looking for it i'm tearing the place up can't find mm -hmm. it i know i got them can't find mm -hmm. it and i'm like how the fuck am I seven years into this and I still can't find shit? You got to have labeled drawers. Bro, it's time to get organized, people. It's time to get organized. It's time to write down exactly what you're using, when you're using it, why you're using it, and put it all in one big-ass list somehow, some way. Like, it's something, something needs to happen. Mm -hmm. Something needs to happen because it's the simplest things I'm looking for. I can't find it. Can't find mm. that'd be the worst. Screws are everywhere, just little fucking just shit, just everywhere, man. You know I know I, I got it. I know I got everything you can imagine. If you come to my spot and ask me about some shit, I'd be like, it's either here, there, 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 there. Yeah, you there, know there, their general there, area of where it's at. There. Yeah, it's somewhere over there. I know yeah. I seen it. I know I seen it. And you're gonna find <laughs> it again when you're not looking for it. Man, by the time you, you buy some more, or yeah. you buy some more, you buy some yeah. more, and you be like, "Damn, it's right there in the back of my seat, in the little uh, the little notebook spot, right there, tucked somewhere." Now, in fact, I gotta check that out because it might be right there. It too. might be there. It yeah. might be there. How many times you bought more tubing knowing you had some somewhere, bro? I got. And I'll then you, you just I'll wind up with a hell of New rolls. York. Of, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'll irrigate your garden, man. This motherfucker. Well, I got tubes out the ass. I got so many tubes. I probably got to throw half of them away because shit done crawled in there and, and going to plug up my tube. You know awesome. what I mean? Or some shit's dust or something got up in there. like Because it's just so cheap. And that's, yeah. that's the bad part about buying things. Most of the things that I need now are cheap little pieces. A dollar But how long do those stay around? Like They just come I can't lie. This is another thing I don't miss. I don't have nothing that I need anymore. Mm. Like, I, mm. I don't have to worry about watering systems. I don't care about shit clogging. There's nothing that can clog anymore. I don't have to hurt my fingers trying to pop emitters into the goddamn tubing. I don't I don't have to deal with that. I threw so much shit away. Like, I got so much space to walk freely outside of my rooms now. I will never go back to needing all of that shit. I just can't. Like, it, it was so chaotic. Like, when I started looking at shit that I had so much of, I'm like, yeah, never again. This is yeah, so man. wasteful. It's, it's a lot. And of, I had to throw a, it all away. You want to talk about wasteful? I'll probably have... I'll probably have, like, the low end, about $5,000 worth of stuff outside. Outside? Yep. Outside, under a tarp in the back leaned up against something whole bunch of stuff just whole bunch of shit man whole just bunch accumulated of accumulated over the years just accumulating man it's 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 insane and i'm tired of it 
I really am tired of it. And it's like, fuck, but when will I ever get time to really just focus only on tearing it down, separating, asking myself, do I need it? You know what I mean? If not, and it's so funny, I need everything. You need it all. You just I need, need to organize all of it. it. I just need to organize it. Because you'll find shit like, damn, that's what I said. Oh, damn, I did have one of them. Like, you know, I got, I got so, so much shit, I got, man. I got the one, two, three rule. So on days where it's like super nice and you in the crib and it's nice out and you just chilling, it's peaceful. I count to three and I get up and go do something. Because I know I'm going to sit in here for hours if I don't get up and go do it right now. So I count to three and then I get up and I go in the back and I just look. What's one thing that I've been needing to do for the longest? And I just go for it. That's the only, that's the only way I'm going to do it. If I don't do it like that, I'm not going to do it. This right here stopped all that. Oh, the phone? This shit is that will kill all you know your what? plants. That's why that I don't kills your that's why I don't look at my phone. If only time I'm watching stuff is on this big ass screen in front of me. If I'm not in front of this big ass screen, I do not have my phone in my hand. Like yeah, a, a, people will like yo, did you see the post I just made on IG? No, but I just seen you post something on there. That's all I did. Yeah, <laughs> did it that, and got up. I got on there, there and made a post, and before that shit even uploaded, I was off of it. Like for it, real, man. Because you'll wind up in that wormhole of reels, or, or or the wormhole of messages or pictures. Next thing you know, forty. That real shit back. is a setup, bro. That shit's That's a setup. The biggest setup. In they'll the show you a world. fruit with somebody opening. It, you'll click that, and then the next one, and then and then forty five minutes later, you're still scrolling through them. But here's so how I deep it is. To use it. You're on Instagram. You're scrolling. You see something. You didn't catch the first part. So what you got to So you press? go down and go Watch back up. again. Mm-hmm. You hit that, now you're in real world. It's over. You're in the real world. Doop, 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 doop. You're like, no, oh, shit, I'm going to back yo, out, back, back. Yo, I'm going to make it worse. <laughs> you skip 80% of them. Really? Within the first couple of seconds. Like, you you, yeah. you look real quick, don't care about that. Oh, another girl doing that TikTok dance. Oh, another yeah. dude talking let about me get this. Out of here. Uh, yeah, let me get the fuck out of here. But you don't. I, you just really keep don't scrolling like until you find that. something that you... <laughs> I don't like how they switch all videos to reels. To reels. All videos. Because it just brings you into something else that I'm not even, I don't even give a fuck about seeing all these other people that I'm not following. I'm not That's even why following I these to people. do it. That's why yeah. I stay on my YouTube, on my TV, because it's everything that I want to see and things I need to learn. Because yep. if not, I, or sometimes the reels will give me an idea and I'll, I'll just close the phone down immediately. Yeah. But, oh, yep. shit. Yeah. Let me go look that up real quick. I've been meaning to learn about that. Hell yeah. But how many, Um, another thing, I just want to talk about organization because that's what the type of title is. Let's mm -hmm. get this 30 minutes organization out. Ask yourself, how many pruners do you need? How many? These? No, like the pruners, like the bigger ones, like the- Oh, uh, the big dude, yeah. Like the bigger ones. Um, I got about four or five of them. Mm -hmm. I got some brand new ones I've seen in the fucking drawer with the red handles that says beautiful and fucking nice. I'm like, I remember exactly where I was when I bought it. And I never used it. Never put it to use. It's like, what the fuck am I doing? This is getting out of hand, man. It, it really is. It really is crazy. Um, if it. We could save so much money by just using something, cleaning and putting it, it back to where and it needs to be. Putting it back up. And also, what I implemented this past week was sit a cup of bleach out, sit a mm -hmm. cup of bleach water out, mm -hmm. and just drop all scissors and everything in there when I'm leaving the room. Just yep. leave it, just let it sit in there. It's just forever. Let it I don't suck. care. Yeah. Because the bleach so. doesn't go bad. No, it's whatever touches it, it's going to kill anything. So you just dead, leave dead. it in there, pull it out of there, wipe it off, go ahead and do what you got to do. Um, alcohol it's is cool, the... but bleach is mm -hmm. going to kill everything. That's, that's why, why I they, said bleach and tissue culture. They they use bleach, and that's where I got it from because I was about to start doing that stuff, and I was like, yeah, might as well just bleach. leave a cup out with bleach, and ethanol just... and bleach. Like yep. they they are not fucking around. They want to sterilize shit, so yep. they use bleach. And that um, Zero Tall 2.0 is some heavy shit, too. That shit works great. But, you know, I'm just thinking of ways to keep your shit around. Yeah. Because if you keep... And sometimes um, you need to hit the reset button. Like, that. Like sometimes you just need to decide to go in there and nuke everything. Like, you know what? I'm just going to throw this all away, and I'm going to see how much of this I actually needed. You know the main things that you use on a regular basis. Everything else is getting the fuck out of here. You cannot get I me to go nowhere on anywhere I reside 
and throw anything away. That's how bad I got it. Yeah, no. I got a whole I got a whole yellow tote, you know, the black and yellow totes with nothing but small items in there. Full of small items. I'm talking about screws, fan, um, fan brackets. Yeah. I got fucking fan brackets. I got uh C clamps, um, everything you could think of, the fucking little staples for the wires, uh, all that shit in a big ass fucking tote just full. Like it's like, oh my god. You know what you do? You get one of them toolkits. And you start separating stuff and labeling it and taping it and knowing every time that you're looking for something, it's in that drawer right there. And it has to be because that's where I put everything that's there. Yeah, Once it's, it's there, you'll start time. to realize that most of it you're never going to touch anyway. But it's good to know it's there if you ever do need if it. If you ever do need it. If you ever do need But besides that, the main things you're going to keep using is going to be right at the front of the drawer every time you open it. So Because mm-hmm. you're taking it out, you use it, you put it right back. It's going to sit right there. I haven't lost a pair of scissors since I started thinking like that. But I threw all my scissors away. I threw all my clone trays away, the domes. I threw all of it away. And then I went back, got a couple of new ones, and I made sure that I'm keeping up with those. I'm keeping them in good condition. They're much easier to store now because I know I only got a few of them. Like, I can't afford to throw these all over the place. These are the only ones I got. So whenever I need to clone again, I got to use these ones. And if I need more, I can add on from here. But I it, the first it, it time was, I seen someone so organized was Casey Neistat, the YouTuber that made all the New York videos, all the dope fucking beautiful videos he made. His workshop was the dopest shit I ever seen in my life. I'm mm-hmm. talking about everything in there was where it's supposed to be. I'm talking about everything was thought out. He had all these red containers lining his whole wall. Tape, screws, quarter inch, three inch, fit, this, 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 this everything. Yes. And I'm like, you gotta that's organize fucking, it like Home Depot. That's amazing. That's, that's the, amazing. That's the, that's the best. And, and, and it is hard to get like that. But if you decide to take like a day or two to really like dedicate it on it, you will a day or two. Yourself <laughs> late. A day or two. <laughs> you got that much stuff. Yo, yes, there's no, you don't there's no need what? for that much stuff. Bro, I could walk around the property, you'd be like, damn, you, that's how you live in. I'm like, bro, that's paint. I'm not about to throw away my paint. Them all touch up paints. Like, why would I throw that away? Yeah. And why would I throw it away, right? So it's just there. And then I go over here. I got hella cloners on top of hella twine on some, some fucking wire, some mesh, um, shit, all shit that I use. It's just in disarray. It's just all yep. in disarray, man. It's all just everywhere. It's crazy, oh, yeah. man. It's just, whew. But day or two, no. Not going to happen. That's like a year or two. Bro. <laughs> Why do you have so much stuff? I don't know. I don't. That's the problem. <laughs> Why do you have? I no, don't like, understand. Like, there's no way you're gonna tell me you need all of understand. that. Like, yeah. I don't understand. But it's like I, I could I could put a whole girl room together right now with the shit I got. Like okay. I'm, I'm talking about from front to back, wiring, <laughs> sub panel boxes, fuses. What you want? What you want? I got it. Eye hooks, chains, ratchet straps, fans, Yo, lights. He got a straight 50 lighter sitting around the crib, just hanging out, collecting the 50 lighter any given moment. Give me the warehouse. So crazy. <laughs> only thing I ain't got, only thing I don't have is sheetrock. That's it. That's it. And, and that's you use I don't have no insulation in sheetrock. That's the only thing. Damn. It's crazy, man. It's crazy. <laughs> yeah, I got to get better, y'all. Pray for me, man, because it's going. This is terrible. It's terrible. The frosty deep. <laughs> for real, for real. My partner be coming over. Hey, you got a light? I'm trying to put. Yeah, he'll take that one. Yeah, take that one right there. You can have it. I'll be giving <laughs> yeah, shit away. That's a shame. Like, I give Just shit right take there. It. Yeah, take that. Little... Be like thanks, bud. And he'd be like, thank you. I'd be like, thank you. You. Yeah, that's you open the opportunity where I can help somebody else. Thanks for asking, pimp. You got that. Now, don't get in my DMs asking me about no lights. I ain't got no more. Like, no, no more. Good content right here. <laughs> Just go fly out, get frosty right. Yeah, that'd be hella funny. And he'll probably be like, so yeah, we uh, about, yeah. I'm about to start. but You ain't going to throw none of this away. <laughs> you ain't going <laughs> to throw <laughs> Like, none of it. Like you I'll be right looking. over his shoulder like, no, 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 not that. That's, that's <laughs> a, no. That's the eighth inch. That's gonna go for those screws over there to go into the metal. Yeah, that's for the metal, the metal driving, the self-piercing ones. I like I know what it's for. Yep. I need it. I probably got 30 of them everywhere. <laughs> that's the thing. I probably got 30 of them. Yeah, it's time to get organized. Yeah, it's sickening, man. Damn. It's, it's sickening. I need See, a border I, show. 
I didn't have a lot of stuff. That's well, because I don't. And then once I went to know, once both rooms got converted, I'm talking about for like days straight, I lined the curb up with garbage for days. I for bet. Every, every I week bet. that we had to do uh, more trash, it was just, I didn't want to do it all at once to them. Like, I ain't going to make them take all of this at once. But it took like a month, and eventually I got rid of all that shit. I freed up so much space. And guess what? I haven't went back to look for none of it. I can imagine, though, with like, those Like, so beds. far, it hasn't been like, Yo, I need with those beds. Game. What do you need? Nothing. A pruner and some scissors because you plant that's the seed. That's what your seeds you plant. So, okay, you got seeds that's using your hand. You got yep. the wand that's always hooked up. Uh, I chop and drop. Okay, that's scissors, or I could just rip it or whatever. That's still just scissors, a pruner to chop it down, mm -hmm. uh, scissors to take down the trellis. Mm -hmm. What else do you really need? That's the problem. I'm Nothing. trying to put up Absolutely. systems, and yes. all putting all these systems up is just making me buy. And accumulate hella a shit because to put up a stuff. system, what do you need? You need tools. I got screws. I get some wood. I got to do this. I gotta... Yeah, man, it's time to it's time to stop. Yeah, it's time to get to living soil, bro. It that's, is. That's that's what time it is, man. Because that's the, I think that's gonna really help me actually. It will. That's gonna really free up a lot of shit. A man. lot of space. A lot of time. A lot of. Everything. What do you feel about putting? Um, the beds on something uh rollable like some caster wheels or something that'd be beautiful that's even better yeah yeah that's yeah. even better so if you, need to get you see what i'm saying starter. i'm yeah. all just how i think so now instead of putting the beds down to be simple now i want to go outside with the saw make up a frame screw some casters in the bottom oh drop it i gotta go eat oh where did i put Man. that at okay let me pull this out of here that's how which, I work. Which you don't I need because you, sick man. You like sick, sick operator. Six. You can reach straight across any canopy. Like any <laughs> canopy you got indoor, you can reach straight across it. So it's like no point in having to roll these out to go anywhere because you can just reach dope, straight though. across it. But it's dope to just roll it though. You know what I mean? Like who don't want to yeah, come in and roll, just roll it slide to nowhere to the left? Because now you got to build a frame around the beds that can connect to the trellis yeah, because man. you can't trellis to the wall no more because you're gonna have to roll this out eventually. Yeah, I don't have I, to do none of that. My, that's when you got the PVC. The now I need the PVC cutter, and uh, see, it's just like a fucking never ending story. So, yeah, man, I think the beds would help though. That would help a lot. And Yo, you just you have to take a wand everywhere. Just take a fucking wand everywhere. And it, sh 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 um, how do you start the uh, the clones? In living soil, um, what do you use for that? You still using pots or solo cups? Solo cups. Okay, start them in and there. Then, and, and then I move them into one gallons, and they'll stay there until they go to the beds. Okay, so you still so you so so okay okay, so you still yep. using some pots? Yep. But you don't even got to go up to one gallon. You could go up to like a six inch square it or doesn't, something. Doesn't matter. Doesn't it matter. Depends on how long they're gonna have to sit there. That's it. Yeah, That's and, all that one, and one gallons is good enough for me. And if you're keeping some mom stock, you gotta have some pots around. So yeah, it, but it, but for the most yeah. part, production is simple. Yeah, simple. And you're just and you're just reusing the same pots. So like you transplant those pots that you just transplanted out of, you're transplanting back into. Because as soon yeah. as the plants come out those pots and go into the beds, the plants that were sitting in the solo cups behind it now go into those pots, and it just keeps going. Yeah takes little yeah. to no soil um half that soil i'm stealing from outdoor because i got neighbors and shit that just don't want they dirt like they just want concrete everywhere like everything concrete they don't want no grass no nothing so yep. they go back there and dig it all up and i just go steal it and pile it in the back Fuck it. what are you gonna do with it you guys aren't gonna do nothing with it you're gonna find a way to dispose of it just throw it right over the fence just, <laughs> yeah, just uh, dump you need a place to dump all that yeah dump it right here yeah, got it need all that that's all turning into indoor soil. I just keep yeah. mixing it with little bits of pro mix. That's it. Yeah, man. It's crazy out there, man. I'm uh I'm I'm gonna try to get to it though. But I just know myself, man. I'm gonna go out there and be like, nah, this twine is still good. Yep. You know what I mean? Like that's why I'm decisive. It's <clears throat> everything got to go. Everything gotta go. That's the only everything thing. I gotta, gotta go. I gotta call somebody totally not nobody that lives with me. And then and you tell gotta them leave. To just take all this stuff and leave. Just yeah. make it disappear. I did that before and um cleaned all the side of this shit and everything, just took everything. He was like, What about this? And I was like, just take it. 
Just take it all. And he took it all. And that was like, cool. I had to see it no more. I'm like, cool. But when it comes to all them other things, I got tools and shit in there. It's like, nah. Oh, you guys are crazy if you think I just keep big ass moms of all these strains. Hell no, I just keep a clone around. As soon as that clone. shit, as soon as that shit get too big, and I know I ain't running it no time soon, I take like five, six clones off of it, and I just keep resetting. As soon as they get bigger, reset them. And then eventually you wind up with a whole bunch of them, and I just fill the bed up with them, take some clones off of those, and just keep resetting. But I ain't keeping no big ass moms of everything around. That's just a spider mite heaven right there. If it I is. Did, like, there's it's no a point in doing heaven. that. They're coming. No point in doing that. Keep everything small, and then you ain't got to worry. All you got to do is look and make sure that you keep. I got a sign up up in the bedroom, and it's just like, here are the strains that I need to keep around. Always make sure you got a couple of these. So Pluto, uh, Shorty Air, Runts, White Runts. It, Frosty will tell you, I had some of these strains for so fucking Years. Long. I'm talking about like, a long yeah. time. No, long, I got that. I got that runts from him when runts first dropped. Like when yeah. runts was on that incline of first getting hot. That's when I got that runts. That was way back then, and I still have it. And I just keep resetting them. Why well, throw it away? Now there's some strains that I just don't reset. If it dies off, it dies off. Like I, I don't care about it enough to keep it. It can't yeah. be none of my elites. Like I got a, about five or six elite strains that just ain't going nowhere. And then there's every everything else is a possible. It's like spades. Like, I got some guaranteed jokers, and then there are some possibles. Mm -hmm. And a lot of things wind up possibles, and then they die. Yeah. Then they get mad at me for spending so much money on clones and then winding up throwing I think that's my problem, though. I'm just a hoarder. I hoard grow stuff and grow plants, like plants and all that shit. I just keep everything. You don't believe in genetic drift from too much cloning? Genetic drift is not that. That's not even the right uh, word for it. No, and, and, Nothing they don't happens. Get, and they don't get weaker. Nothing happens. Yeah, that was the one. That's the one. That's the one. <laughs> that's the one. That shit fire. I need that yeah, back. That's the one. I still got that. Fact, if, I need that back, man. I I just took clones of that today. She just a she just she just PM prone, man. That's the only thing about it. I didn't run her outdoors, so I don't know. Yeah. Yeah, I didn't run her outdoor, so I have no. How didn't that make it out there? I don't know. Wait, I ran it last year. Outdoor. You did run it last year. Yep. I did run it last year outdoor. I didn't get a drop of PM. Really? Didn't get one drop. That's good. Actually, none of the strains I grew got a drop of PM. This year, different story. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this year there was there was a few of them. Um, but that genetic drift from just cutting a clone of a clone of a clone of a clone. That's just cat. Like as long as the the stock that you're cutting it from stays healthy, you'll be fine. And yeah, you can like always Greg rejuvenate it just, if it uh, doesn't be if it isn't healthy. Greg said it isn't drift, more like viroids and viruses that make it slow growth. Yes. Or that'll and, slow it down. That's why that's why when you're taking your clones, take it from the tip top. Tip top, man. You going under there, you going under there with what are you going under there for? Like stay at the top of the plant. The only time I'll do that is if I just need a bunch of clones and I and I don't want to. Then you got to go down. And I don't want to shorten the plant. Yeah. So like if I got some plants that are hella decent size, they're like perfect height, but there's a bunch of shit on the bottom. I'll just take all the clones from from off the bottom. I don't like the bottom. All that bottom shit. I like throwing that shit away. I don't like nothing down there. I like to keep that shit clean and clear because that's just a breeding ground, man. And it, you, you, you get more chances of taking something and putting it in a different situation by taking it from the bottom. Oh, that's a new thing I implemented, too. Every single time I cut clones, when I say they get dunked and soaked, I mean everything gets dunked and soaked. And then I let them dry, and then I do it again. Then I finally start putting them into the clone domes after. I noticed a massive difference in clone health afterwards. Into what? Dunk and, dunk and dip them into what? <clears throat> Mine is in uh, probiotic and uh, Suffoil X. A cut clone? Yeah. So it, get, it touches the bottom too, or no? Yeah, it soaked the whole thing. Really? The whole thing. Dang. Like it goes underneath, like up to my arms. Like, and I just swirl it around. Then I wait a minute and do it again. And then I let it dry. And then once they dry, I'll go back and do it again. And then you you never have no problem. And you don't there. sit them in water in between or nothing? Yeah, yeah. So while they're drying out, they're sitting in water while the top okay. is in and dry so out. you'll cut the clones, let them sit in water for a minute, then dunk them, and then put them back in the water, and then let put them, them dry, back in the and water, do it again, and then do it again, water. and then finally put them into the clone dome. 
I think I'm gonna do that this time just to make sure because I want to clean out house. Just That's what made me do of, it. Like I went and killed of all of the bigger plants, took the cuts of whatever I wanted to, to, super dunk them. Like ain't nothing ever about to live anything close to these. And the mm-hmm. probiotics uh, stop any kind of bacteria from leaving the plant and getting into your water source. Mm, so if there's important. anything, yeah. Mm-hmm. So if there's anything wrong with your plant, you're not infecting the water that you're using for it. The the probiotics lock it into there and and kills it at the exact same time. And I added some microbes. With the dunk? Yeah. Everything went into that one thing and everything just got soaked. That's nice. That's what I'm going to have to do. That's and I'm nice going to keep doing that. That's a great tip. And I, I think I want to do that too, like a SOP. Just do that for all the clones. Because that's that's just ensuring health, man. And now more people important. are starting to want clones. And I want to make sure that I can get you the healthiest clones possible. So they're getting the super dunk every time. And then when they come out the dome, I'm going to dunk them again. Roots Why not? It, like, what does it hurt? You could do roots. Yeah, I mean, I mean, you can. Yeah, mm-hmm. I may not, but you can. But they're definitely going to continuously be dunk. And imagine if you're you kill everything that you have. You start off with those clones that got dunked and super dunked and they ain't got nothing living on them. Ain't from, that, that from, from that point on, you're good. Bleach everything down, nuke, nuke the whole room. And start fresh, you'll never have no problems again. Yeah, uh, dang. Bottoms do root faster. Do they? I, I noticed that. Smaller clones root faster. Like the thinner, 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 um, thinner branches or thinner stems, mm-hmm. they seem to root faster. Those thick stems take forever. They take forever. They take forever. Those are the ones I don't like taking. I really like mm-hmm. that. Those secondaries. I don't like the top yeah, tops, but the secondaries. Woody, it's over. I'll take yeah. some of the tops though, just to take them. But I really like them. Secondaries, Only time man. I take tops is if the plant too tall and I need to cut it back. That's why that's I like. Why. That's why I like cutting all my tops. If I see like you know how you start, you, you, you see a plant just starting to extend that top out, that yep. top four or five inches, I'll and they just all just that whole chop big all ass them off and, and give it about clones. four days, and then the, the other ones that come up, those are perfect for clones. Perfect. 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 Because it didn't yeah. put so much energy to making that one stem massive. It, it mm-hmm. had to separate that energy and all of these other tops. Yep. So they, they wound up like the perfect size for clones. Yep. Greener stems root fast. Yep. You're right. Yeah. The more woody it is, the longer it's going to take to to root. Yeah. I see people taking huge clones. And I wonder how long that clone really sat in that cloner. Like the real time. The actual look. time. Yeah, because they be Sometimes showing shit, fucking big like, ass plant, and I'm like, bro, that shit was probably in there for like three and a half weeks. Three and a half weeks, it had to be. Like seriously, no, it's just it's this new nutrient that I use. That no, yeah. no, no, no. Okay. No, no, no. These plants still need time to grow. Like people do not factor in math anymore when it comes to like some of these equations. Like they'll tell you a yield that just makes absolutely no sense. Yeah, I got four pounds in this four by four. You just like, cool. That can't even fit. Like, what the fuck are you talking about? Like. Hey, you, hey. Cool story, bro. Yeah, like and, and, <laughs> and now they got you guys. Yeah, <laughs> cool and story. You guys bro. are thinking that this stuff is true, and you're like, Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna hit those numbers with this Girl Scout cookie, and it's like okay. setting yourself up for a letdown. Now you're gonna try a new nutrient that's gonna make it better, and then now you want to use power si because you think your stems wasn't strong enough. Now you want to use uh, this because you like come on, just relax, become a better grower, become more efficient, get your water in times down pad, and you'll be just fine. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Anything else you guys want to talk about out there? Go ahead and drop or ask questions or anything like that. It's the last 15 minutes of the show. Oh, forgot to ask, man. How's your week been, bro? Oh, yeah. It's been <laughs> it's been partial harvest season, so it's just been a little fun. Yeah. Getting out there, chopping all the ones that are finished. Um, shorty air is almost done outside and inside. They, okay. They look the same. Okay. They definitely did better indoor, though. Okay. For me, because I know I'm not getting the intensity that you're getting. That now, sounds, indoor, yeah. indoor, complete knockout. Frosty. Like they knocked it out the park. Frosty, yeah. decent sized buds, super faded, like hella yellows and they purples. Be, and watch how heavy yeah. they be. They're, I was just about to say they're pulling Bro, the you, net down. You would like, not, I, I you came would not in think. and they're just like this. I'm like, yo, what the fuck? You're not even that big. Like, not even that I got, big. I got you, big like, ass well. towers of brisker right next to it, holding themselves up just perfect. Shorty air just. Mm. 
Just look regular. It looked like some regular. And he'd be like, okay. Heavy then you start chopping shit. it down. Doop, doop, doop. Yeah. Like, damn. <laughs> like, damn. That motherfucker driving. Like, that was crazy. Before I even said it, you said it. I'm Yeah, they're, they're pulling the net down. I had to go in there with some bamboo stakes and lift a whole section of them up because they, <laughs> they were starting to tip. But I'm yeah. like, yo, y'all not even fully formed yet. Like, this is just the beginning of this problem. It's the beginning, man. It's coming. Can HPLVD be transferred in seed? I have no idea. Uh, yes, it can. Especially if you're breeding with a with a plant that already parent. has it. Like, don't do that. If you see something funny in your breeding, and you see a plant acting funny, like, and you get it throw out that there. shit out of there. Get it out. Throw of there. that out. Don't it. don't play them. Play with them seeds or nothing. Don't do that. Uh, what you like better, marshmallow OG or East Side OG East Side? Uh, I like East Side better. What you I like East Side better. Eastside mm, looks better and smokes better, in my opinion. I just got some complete. But I can't lie, life. though, man. This marshmallow G in this room was ugly. The one I grew in my breeding room, that bitch was beautiful. Completely different. It was completely different. It was in a bigger pot. It just had more room or space to grow. To, I don't know what it was, but that's another reason why I'm done with this room also. I haven't been getting consistent results out of that room. And I think it's something to do with like that water built up around the edges, come kind of mold or something's going on in there. I just got to get out of there. I mm -hmm. think some, cause the other place was nice, clean, fresh, and just redone. You know what I mean? And yeah, it just, it was, it was beautiful, man. Yes. Uh, curing turkey bags. What, what, oh, you got, what, what's all these questions? Hold on. Somebody stole what's my bill best purpose. Purpose? Damn. Whole plants. Damn. Selfish motherfucker. What's Whole the best plant. preventative thing to use for PM? Silica. I've been spraying zero tall, 30 mils a gallon, and some um cocoa wet. Zero tall shit. Zero, zero tall smoke shit. Zero tall smoke, smoke shit. And when smoke. I spray it, I'm spraying. I'm going ham yeah because you got to kill spraying, the spores too. i'm just spraying everything spores, yeah. i do not be playing when it comes to sprays but i'm spraying the inside of the tent outside of the tent the floor the walls all that shit anybody grow out louis the 13th og man when, by the time i Garbage. could get it by the time i could get it it wasn't hyped up no more and it's i was trash like, yeah. ass og i'm sorry i know they say it's one of the best ones out there it is a trash ass og in my opinion do you guys think the price will go up for outs this season? Definitely not. I think those outs are all going to get blasted in the extracts. I don't think enough of them are going to be able to pass uh, testing. For the, for the people that that matters for. Mids are 1400 a pound in Atlanta. Fire. Do y'all grow organic or no? Bro, he just told you he didn't live in soil beds. What's I do. Yeah, I grow organic. Oh. Yeah, I, I do and don't. Uh, what do you use with jacks? Uh, three, two, one. Three, two, one. Uh, I got a Ryobi Fogger for a hundred bucks, and that shit is a game changer for pest spray. I don't like those; they blow out too fast, way too fast. Lose if a that's lot the of, same one. It, gotta use a lot of product. No, they just fast. Like you can't. You try to hit the clones with it, you are gonna break your clones. Like oh, it's powerful. It's powerful, man. If that's the same one. Cause I, I got mine for hundred from off the street, so I don't know which one you're talking about. What the hell is the four OGs? Is that that thing you sent me the other day? Where they had like the Legend OG, the SFV, the what? Uh, Legend OG is Purple City Genetics. I don't know. What Legend OG is. fire. I've had Legend OG. It's fine. It's a good OG. Yeah. Is it better than SFV? Absolutely not. But it is mm. a good OG. I'm Best just, OGs I'm out right now. OGs man. Best OGs out right now, Jet Fuel, Billy Kember, and SFV if you can still find it. That fucking SFV from GMX. Fire. Fire. So lime, gassy, just it's, it's everything you want in an OG. Like sticky, greasy, gassy, just, oh. And it was outdoor, too. So I can't mm. even imagine how well it's gonna do indoor. Stri that, that's the SFV I know. I, I don't know about these other SFVs that everybody else got. Um, 
scam what scam inflation is raging across the nation no more 70 dollar ace uh i think it's going i think ace would go up even higher if people got that fire because oh, if you got some a1 indoor just, right now you could get it's too much junk it's too much it's junk too much junk there. around it and they're tired of it so what's gonna happen is that's just gonna sit around for a couple years until a drought hits and then that's gonna be what goes out to all of you guys and about this how years. i know legend og is the truth because I, I I follow Purple City Fire. Genetics and I watch their drops. They drop Legend OG, uh, Legend Apricot, Sun, some like they, they, they drop like ten strains at the at the facility, right at the uh, dispensary on the twenty eighth. On the I checked on the 29th, Legend OG was gone. Gone. Everything else OG, was there. Legend OG, OG was gone. So I'm gonna grab it's that as soon as I get the time. I'm gonna grab that so we can have that. It is an OG OG. Yeah. Uh, then it wasn't. Then it definitely wasn't SFV. Can't be CBD. And what y'all think about white truffle? I got some when they dropped and all ten no germination. What? Damn! What kind of shit they got going on? How the hell did you germinate them? Oh man, I got some. Oh man, I forgot about that. I forgot. About that. I got some fire, bro. I got. Yeah. Some <laughs> I forgot all about that. Um, all right, y'all just making statements now, so that's cool. Mm -hmm. Dread Knot and Bear Mace update. Hey, yo, scared. <laughs> <laughs> I need to pop those though. Where's um, the, the Green Goblin leave? <clears throat> he probably in here lurking somewhere. Yeah, Green Goblin. Um, it's been a week. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna text you. I'm gonna text yeah. you. <laughs> Super lemon mac. Ooh. Yeah, I got that. This is a really that. hard question. That's hella hard. That's that why I never answer it because I can't. Question. And I'm telling you guys that I have it now and I'm growing it and I'm smelling it every single day. And it is so hard for me to describe what this smell is. Like yeah. uh, as soon as it hits me, I'm go. I'm, I'm gonna let y'all know. But I don't know how to describe that smell. Like I don't. I don't want to say sweet and you guys get the wrong idea. I don't want to say floral and you guys get the wrong idea like but it's it's life that's the best way i could describe it smells happy yeah yeah like it like happy. The, like the smell of it makes you happy that's how you know when the smoke is gonna be happy mm -hmm. everybody is wanting gas on my and og coming back yeah they're tired of all of the, the sweet stuff they just want anything different at this point. I think Blue Dream can make a good comeback. I think that it's a lot of strains that can actually make a good comeback right I about got a now. Humble dream. They're just I got sick a humble of gelato dream turps. That crazy. Look crazy, man. It's uh I'm gonna keep that around too, because I'm talking about vigorous. Yeah, fat buds, just super greasy too, to the touch. Just like mm -hmm. it got that old blue dream smell, like, but just like times five, just like. Ooh. Just like, oh my god, I can't wait to smoke that because I don't know. People that never had Blue Dream won't understand, but that shit is was a hit for a reason. It, it is it's amazing. <sighs> I'm busting out the bag. I like White Widow. That's good, man. That's what's up. I'll take a white widow right now, too. If she was she was a, uh if she was married to a rich dude, be in them. I'm out. Now nah, I'm messing with you. <laughs> Can't stand White Widow. Maybe because it was in my area for so long. Oh, that's all that used to be around. Like 2002, 2003. Like it was just hella White Widow around. Anything I'm... that grow big, gigantic ass buds is just like a no-go for me. As soon as I see that, unless it's GMO. GMO is one of the exceptions. I'm going to keep it real. It's not even attractive. When you nah. see some shit just growing hell every two, you be like, I'm cool. I don't, don't want to die. This shit that. ain't going to be frosty. This yeah, shit. I don't want to dive into that, man. Uh, Anything. Yeah, for sure. Anything Maricop is happy. That's for sure. Yeah, man. It's got a fire. Y'all sleeping on White Widow. That shit got me in my bag in 2012, 2014. That's Made me a lot up. of money, too. But that's that's as far as I'm willing to go with it. I'm not mad that it's not around anymore. And I'm not asking for it back. 
Yeah, man. If somebody has some White Widow, I would like to try it right now, though. I'm not going to lie. If somebody really had the real White Widow, I would love to try it. Because I can't remember. That came out at a time when I was, like, young. Like, 2012, 2014, I never heard of White Widow at that time. Wait, I'm talking by, about, then, by then, it was long gone. That's what I'm saying. I don't it was long that. gone by 2012, 2014. 2012, 2014 was cookie era. Cookie, I don't even know what, why you had White Widow. Yeah, somebody lied to you, bro. Everything. Yeah, somebody yeah. lied to you. At that point, ma matter of fact, we was just shifting out of the only gas era. Like it was just sour and OG and then cookies drop. Once cookies in my area, I'm speaking for my area. Once cookies drop, that was the only thing that switched people out of sours and OGs was, was cookies. White Widow was gone in like, oh, five, four. Like it's going to be a time. Sour diesel. Like, what do you mean? White Widow. It's going to be a time where somebody put together a mind, like a montage of Everybody talking about GDP, then cookies. It, it, it's just that switch. It's just, that was the only just, thing that got you guys out of the GDP. That Bobby, was the was truest. Cookies. Now, that was like the most purest error, though. GDP just ran shit for like years. And then it's cookies so just crazy. came and blasted out the water. Then just hella shit just dropped after that. And you could just not even name what dropped after that. You just like hey, everything just opened up after that. I got an idea. Everybody from your area. What strain got moved out of the way for cookies? In my area, it was sour diesel. So there was sour diesel, then cookies came. In your area, it was It took GDP. a while for sour to go, though. It took, like, damn near 2017, 2018, damn near, for y'all to really start, like, not wanting sour no more. No, we I still was... wanted. We just, it just took us a while to realize we was never going to get it again. That's what happened. That's it, what it, happened. It didn't sink into us that the sour that we wanted, that shit's was gone. just not around no more. Because like, the last, not gonna find the it. last little bit of sour I had go that way was like 2017. And after that, I couldn't even get it no more from the guy. Mm -hmm. It was like, I'm like, what? That ugly ass sour gone? Hey, they wanted that one. It was yeah, ugly. I mean I knew depending on I knew someone was gonna say this because I heard a lot of people say that it was OG or nothing and then cookies came. Peyote purple. Wow. Urkel. He talking about purple Urkel. Peyote I purple. I ain't never heard of that. I heard of peyote purple. You I may want to go that. back and look at that shit to do some breeding. I never heard of that. Peyote purple look crazy. I found out about it from Eddie Cropper. Hmm. It looked crazy, like super frosty, super purple, like hella weird bud structure at the time. There was nothing around like it. Hold on. It was like the cookies and cream of its time. Because you know, how people don't know about this, Django. People don't know about this, Django, because they called it cat piss. Cat piss, the haze. That's the peyote purple. That looks beautiful. That looks nice. Yeah. Peyote purple, huh? I have no idea what the Terps or anything was like on it. Looks amazing. Yeah. yeah. And Blue Dream was such a quick hit where I was. I don't exactly count it because it was booming for like four months and then it was out of here. Really? Yeah, it was quick. It was super quick. There's. I can imagine. I can imagine like 20 different white white people uh faces because that because that's what they were i'm just keeping it real right i'm, I'm yo, talking i about, was just about to I'm say it but i didn't want to say it, it wasn't nothing like that i'm just talking about the, the girls from the girls to the guys and they all just say the same thing we got a ton of blue dream and they keep their head up like this we got a ton of blue dream man it's fucking fire I'm letting those go for like 12 and i'm like damn y'all blue dream out I'm talking about blue. I'm talking about everybody had that shit, but they that all the just had in our so area. It much was, blue dream. Bro. It was clientele based. If you had a more black clientele, you wasn't getting rid of the blue dream. You was about to sit on that. No, no. In my area, there's a huge distinction. Like the the white people mainly like like the more citrusy, piney. Like they they stay there. Niggas want the gas. Like they <laughs> they want cookies. They want OG. They want sour. They want Mac one. They want they want something with some punch to it. Uh, 
the white people kind of like the little smoother, more sweet. Like they, it's, it was it's the upper. Difference. It was the upper. It's about a super it, though, upper. Like, as soon as you hit it, you just ready to go. Like you ready to. What's up? What we doing? We out? Like it, it was just. It was really nice though. I'm not gonna lie. Yes. But and, but it know. was so it was so in the hood. We heard the name in so neighborhoods. We like, they don't we want, want Blue Dream. Yeah, we heard the name, so we like we want Blue Dream. It's the hottest new want thing. Try it out. Talking yeah, yeah, about yeah, yeah, yeah. Then yeah. we got it. It was like. <laughs> This piney shit, like we don't know, don't know about this white boy weed. That's exactly what they called it. That I didn't come up with this name. They said this white widow. They, that was considered like white boy weed, mainly because they were the ones growing it. So if you got any of those strains, it came from them. Yeah, and it was just hella easy to grow. Big ass yeah. It was. So I think as a, twelve pound plants and shit. So everybody yes. grew that shit and. But everybody wasn't growing where I was. Yeah. It was it was mainly them doing all of the growing. So we got the Christmas tree bugs, the white widows, the white rhinos, the uh blueberry. White rhino was fire. You might have not had the the see, we that's did. the thing about these strains, bro. Like yo, but they came out when sour was out. Like you can't who the compete. hell's thinking about you anything else when that's sour the thing? A lot out. of shit, a lot like, of shit came out, and you yeah, can't like, compete with everything. Sour else. and haze was out, and we didn't want nothing. Like, if you think about New York and you have to think weed, there's only two names that's gonna pop into your head: sour, sour and haze. Sour um, and haze. Sour and we haze. Got o- okay. We got OG, and the OG was labeled sour. Yes, and I didn't was. know that I until I started smoking OG afterwards. And I'm like, yo, I got this as sour diesel quite a few times. And we didn't know because they're both gassy in their own way. How about Candyland? Did y'all ever have Candyland? Oh my god! It dropped when cookies dropped, but it was so quick. Like I, I was one of the only people who knew about it. Like I got it, but no one else was getting the Candyland. Like no one. When I'm talking, I could go talk to people about it right now. They have no Candyland. Idea what I'm the about. the plant of Candyland. Oh, so fire. Look good without no it's buds so on it. Fire. That should just look good. I gotta go, y'all. I'm sorry, but um, it was great. It was great. Another great week. Yeah, an- but, uh, another great one. Damn, time I gotta flies. go, man. I hope all is well, and if not, I hope y'all get well and stay well, man. And See until next, next time, Beast Coast, baby. Yeah. What's up with your Green Table family? I hope all is well, and if not, I hope you get well and stay well. Make sure that you visit mirrorcrop.com. That is mirrorcrop.com.